Howdy, birds! Welcome to the sexiest golden age comic book western romance comic <laughs> stream on YouTube. You're never going to see nothing like this. You're going to see some killer books tonight. All sexy. We'll show some romance. So we'll tone it down a little. We'll show a little romance western. But it's all be golden age. We got Alan, the comic collector geek here. Hey. What's up, brother? Alan, partner? Hot partners! <laughs> I just got my coffee off the fire. It's done roasted. We got Jolly Jambo Comics coming in here soon somewhere. We don't know where he's at. He's lost out in the, the range there. Mm -hmm. So let's kick this dang thing off. Well, we got Las Cruces 1971. Supposedly cool. watching because it shows. Okay, so we have one. Yay! <laughs> one person watching. Always sort of one person. Them. But before, so you know, to wait for Jambo and get some more people into the chat. Let's go ahead and we'll show a, a clip here. Let me see what we got. See if you ever saw. This is one of my favorite Western movies, and okay. we got a trailer right here. They stole the land. The future. To the future. They stole the money. In 90 days, we take control of all the banks. They thought no man could stop them. Hola! They were right. Now. We must come up with a plan. Something that would benefit the people and destroy these murderers. Two unlikely heroes will have to steal it back. Can I help you? Padre Pablo said you could teach us to rob banks. He said that you robbed 37 banks and never got caught. Robbing banks is easy. Get in the way, that's the hard part. <laughs> First rule of robbing a bank. No whining. I never whine. Oh, please. Oh, please, Willa, don't. No fighting. Take that raggedy mask off. It doesn't even match your shirt. Trust your partner with your life. You gotta aim the gun. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Everybody, hands up! Senoritas. Senoritas. What? I want both banditas in custody. I guess this makes us friends now. I don't know about friends, but partners, definitely. Being bad never looked so good. Ready? Smile. What are you doing? Mamacita. Penelope Cruz, Salma Hayek. Let's go rob more banks. Can't just go right now and rob a bank. Fine. Finish brushing. I'm taking this bank. You already took all the money? We're well aware of that. At least I am. Banditas. Hands up. No! No! Up! No! Rent it today with your remote control. All right. <laughs> have you do you have you seen that movie? I think so. A long time ago, yeah. Oh, that's such a great movie. All yeah. right, we got two in the comments there. If you're in, uh wave your hand. We're gonna be doing a killer. I got a killer Harvey. I think it's a Harvey romance. I gotta really look into my books that I'm gonna be giving away. We're still waiting on Jambo. Where the heck's he at? Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and show a few here, Alan, and then and then we'll let you go up. Okay. Just so, keep warning. I'm gonna be looking for a few extras. This book was a book that I've been I was on my radar and I was after it for years, but it's it, it could be pricey, and I didn't want to pay more than 50, and I wanted a higher grade copy. So here we go. This is an Avon number one, Wild Bill Hillcock. Really sexy color. Oh, yeah. That was one of the ones I was going to bring. That's awesome. Hey, bring it. You got it? Yeah, I have that too. Okay, get it ready because we're going to show them together. But let me go ahead and pull oh, this wait, out wait, of here. Wait. I, well, it's not ready, ready, so don't worry. <laughs> okay. But just a, a sexy uh, Raymond Everett Kinsler cover. He just, he dominated the good girl Golden Age Western covers. He was, uh, he, what did he work? He worked for Youthful Magazine, uh, Avon for sure. I know he did some other work. I can't remember it offhand, but just mm -hmm. that gorgeous cover. So I think Jambo just texted me. There goes my light. Okay, light, stay up there. So what do you guys think of that one? 
Alan, how long ago did you pick yours up? Um, I think last year. All right. Let me, uh, Jambo says we got to send him a link into the chat. So let's do that. I think I picked mine up two years ago. Okay. Is it copied? Okay. Copy. If you got Western Golden Age comics and you want to show them, you're welcome to join. But just, yeah, that's a beautiful cover. I haven't actually read this one yet, but you can already see a nice splash page right there. Nice good girl right there. I just actually purchased an EC for $30, uh, Gunfighter, good girl, uh, oh, wow. yeah, two, two days ago. I think I already have a copy of it. I'm not sure, though. Here's some more art. So that's Wild Bill Hickok number one from Avon. That's from uh, September 1949. Oh no, I'm sorry. This isn't uh, Raymond Kinsler, is it? I think it says on my on my back. It says Graham Ingalls. I, th I think it's Graham Ingalls, actually. My bad. My bad. It does look like a Kinsler cover, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, Jambo's in the house. What's up, Jambo kid? Hey, Jambo. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Alan. And I uh, I thought for some reason it was 8 o'clock. My bad. It's 8 o'clock Central, but 7 Eastern. 7 Eastern. Well, I'm in Eastern, so. so no, I'm no, showing Central, up. it'd be 6 o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry. Totally yeah. Up. yeah. Okay, so I started it off. I kicked it off with this one right here. That's a beauty. I don't you have, have this? that one. You need to no. get it. This has got to be on your want list for sure. It is. I think I waited after I seen this probably three or four years before I found the copy that I could, that I thought was the right buy for me. It's true. It's, it's official. One, right? Yeah, this is number one. And there are quite a few good girls in this, uh, in this series. I'm always checking eBay to see if there's any new listings up for that. I'll go ahead and show a second one. Now we showed the the uh, the trailer to Banditos before you popped in. Have you seen that movie? Oh, no, I'll have to look at that. Man. Oh, you haven't seen that Simon Simon? I Hattie? love that movie. Yeah, yeah. So let's show a Fiction House hanging cover with a nice that's western. The yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Weight Rangers comics. She's got some cowboy boots on there, and and that's guys, actually a Soti book too. He's with. I, I wouldn't doubt it. Because with a hanging yeah. cover like that, that's pretty one. It's probably one of the best hanging covers that are are in the golden age. I know there's quite a few. Man, I hate that glare. I gotta. I'm gonna bust this out of this thing soon. <laughs> but he's whipping that horse. It's, it's taken off. She's got that noose around her neck. What number is this? This is number 38 from December 47. And there are several. I mean. With the red hair, western theme covers in the Rangers uh, series. I think yeah. I'll be showing some more tonight. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab a bunch. All right. It's probably Doolin, I think, right? Joe Doolin right there. Yeah, that's Joe Doolin. It's, uh, nope. Bob or is it? Is it? Uh, no, Bob wait, it is Doolin. You're right, it is Doolin. Yeah. It says Lover's Interior. Yeah, it's the early one. Uh, Maurice Whitman be the later stuff. Yeah. That's right. You guys would know more about Fiction House than I would. That's a great that's looking great. horse, though, isn't it? Check that's that an horse. awesome cover, man. Check out that yeah, horse. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. Good I think that. the good guy's going to be a little too late there. So, <laughs> woo -woo! You got a nice <laughs> hat on the Forest <laughs> Fire Lamp is back again. Man. High demand. man. Amazing. The Imagine if you were a kid and you send off and got that, right? I know. What does it that say? All now? kinds of fires and everything. The Niagara Falls lamp. <laughs> now, which is it? The forest fire lamp or the Niagara Falls? It says both. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's mm. two. Any, any, anybody ready to go? I can be ready. All right. Alan, Alan's up. Did you see it, Jamie? You didn't see the intro. I'll look at it, man. I, I'm sorry, I missed it. Yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> run it. We'll run it again in a little bit. It's only it's okay. less than a minute. So I'm gonna show some fire hair. 
that's what we got. Oh, there you I go. Gotta, I gotta bring. I gotta bring you. So hold that up for a minute. Hold it. Are you at oh, this one too? It's a term from uh, the four color fossils when they have uh, twins. Is that number? Oh, that's number one. Twins. Number yeah, one. Yes. two of the same book. So talk about it. Well, it's. Uh, I think this is Maurice Whitman, isn't it? No, it's. Uh, oh, this is Bob Lubbers. Lubbers, Lubbers. I don't know. Some people say lubers. I say lubbers. Are you a luber or are you a lover? <laughs> this has the origin of fire hair in it, and it's her first title. Oh, you have two of them. I do. I love fire hair. I think what is that? Yeah, I, 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 I just hair. finished this run, by the way. Is that a bear or something else? Yeah, yeah it's a bear. two bears. Man, I hate that thing to layer. She's got two what? bears, one here and here. Hold on. Jamie don't have a copy, so let's – how do we do two? <laughs> Two Z's. Two Z's. There's three Z's. One Z's. One Z's. Who? Oh, okay, that's that better. Okay. <laughs> Yours looks more yellow than mine. Yeah, it's really hard to get good colors from Fiction House. That's the problem. Let me see this. They do fade. It's not that they. I actually was told that it's not that they fade. It's that they would print them too far beyond. Like the the inks would run out, and they'd uh, still run them. <laughs> try to get the most ink out of them. Yeah. Anyways, we'll get back to you. I have two. Okay, that's the first fire hair, and so that was fire hair comics, but they actually changed the name. It became Pioneer West Romance. And this is I have that one. one. I have that one also. This I believe this is Maurice Whitman. Yeah, Maurice Whitman. You don't have number two. I have it. I just it's raw and it's in a different box. I have to grab it. Okay, I have mine right here, but I'll hold my bag. That's yeah, yeah. I love that series. I think I need two more and I'm done. How many do you want me to show? Uh two more. Talk two about more? them. Yeah, let's see. Those, right. I love fire hair. I'm always actively looking for that. Okay, one sec. It's on more people's radar than it was a few years ago. A few years okay, ago. Okay, so I'm gonna show you for... one that's this is one is Pi uh Frontier that's, Romances. That's number one, right? Yeah, number one. And this one was mentioned two. in the Seduction of the Innocent. I have It's actually, two. it looks like a photo cover, but it's airbrush. Any idea who did it? Um, It is... Is that Avon? It's Avon, yeah. Um, maybe Norman Sanders, maybe? I don't know. Those are scarce. There's only two issues in the series. Yeah, this one's super rare. Uh, I think it's like less. It's than scarce. 20 it's on not the rare though. I think it's yeah. It's yeah to be yeah <laughs> official. <laughs> sure. You know I'm um, a stickler for that. Yeah, rare is like under five copies on the census or something like that. Real five love stories. I go rare by how many were printed. Yeah, um, this one is quite rare for census count. It's like you know around yeah. less than twenty. I found mine. Um, I looked in the Gerber guide and, and I saw it and I looked on eBay and found one for 20, number two. It says Howard Larson art, but I'm not sure. Okay. I don't think this is his cover. I would. It, it looks kind of like Norman Sanders a bit. Look at the I'm legs sure. on her. Mm. Norman oh, yeah. Sanders kind of did these kind of almost photorealistic yeah. style. He did. I like I like that he's got the chaps on too. Looks pretty yeah. cool. I forgot why the... this was mentioned in the seduction of this and too. It's like probably like, you know, somebody getting poked in the eye or something like that. <laughs> So what does it say? What's the she learned what at the bottom? At the bottom um, of the story? She learned to ride and shoot. I'll bet and, she did learn to ride. And missing or kissing came natural. Mm, kissing okay. came natural. She learned to ride and shoot. Kissing came natural. Now do you keep every one of your slabs in bags? Yes, I do. I hate mine. I don't like them in bags. I don't like the bags either, but um I find that uh, it protects the slabs. So, okay, so that's one. And then the last one for this round. Oh, you keep showing the ones I have. That's a cool one. <laughs> there's, like act, one. there's a Canadian one that listed right one. now, a Bell Features one on eBay. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I've seen that actually. Um, yeah, the Bell Feature ones are rare. Yeah, um, you should pick it up, dude. Well, I, once I have it, I'm not, I don't need to have the. But you don't features. have the Canadian one. Well, it's the same. It's the same cover, right? So. No, it's different. The cover is it is different? different? It has a different, like a heading at, over the Flaming Western at the top. Oh, okay. 
So yeah, so this is only issue formerly uh, Target Western Romances, partial photo cover, one page biography on Robert Tyler and Arlene Doubt. And it's covered by LB Cole, obviously. Yeah, I saw mine on Spinner Rack Comics and then I started looking for it and found one. Yeah, I, I sort of ran into this by accident. And then I kept on, like, after I thought it was really rare. And then I kept on finding copies afterwards. So <laughs> not as rare as I thought. I'm going to go ahead and post on Instagram that we're live with this show. So okay. some more people. So this one's here. from 1950. Do you want me to show one more? Sure. Oh, by the way, this, this actually has something kind of interesting. Uh, is that the old code? No, maybe not. But okay, so I'll show one more while while you're doing what you're doing. All right. Uh, actually, I want to show something. Let's see. I want to show that something that's not in a series. Uh oh. Okay. Well, I'll be showing more of these later. <laughs> this is another Maurice Whitman. Nice. Oh, yeah. yeah, I need that uh, one. Cowgirl romances. I, I have a there's... bunch of cowgirl romances, so I'll be showing a lot more of these. I think someone just listed video. that copy a couple of days ago. In a, yeah. even, I think it was on my comic shop. Yeah, it's a good caboose. Those books are coming down. They used to normally be like 300, and now they're coming down to around 100. Yeah, I actually picked this up fairly cheaply. I got two for like um, a couple hundred bucks, two issues. So nice. I got this one and another one for like a couple hundred bucks. And that's from 1949? Um, you don't mark the stuff on the back? So you know no, when you I don't when, date them. When you bought it, when no. it's for data. No. That way you can, yeah. you act, you can, people yeah. think you're more intelligent because you can read the back. And <laughs> you go, can yeah, just go, oh, from... but yeah, I, I know everything about this. No, I don't know exactly. anything about this. <laughs> but uh, all I know is that it's Maurice Whitman by the style of our There's um, some good muscle definition on that girl, though. Yes, she's got. She yeah, he had a neck. She didn't doing skip that. leg day. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Upper, upper, upper leg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay. You ready, Jambo Kid, Jamie the Kid. Yes, sir. Partner, I'm ready. I got first of all, it's not a golden age. Okay, I had to show it because it's number one. It's a really cool cover. Oh, wow. oh dude. number one. Nick Cardi. Okay, yes. we're gonna allow it. We're gonna allow it. <laughs> she is sexy, so yeah. That, I thought that was a cool cover, man. Anytime you see the top of a stocking, that's all that. That's all that <laughs> wrote for me. Oh, Nick Cardi. Couldn't say no to that. So you guys got some cowgirl romances. I thought I'd show that. Okay. Oh, that's a the good bride one. wore buckskin. Hey, she didn't wear it for long. <laughs> Tell us about the book. Where'd you get it? What where is it from? Uh I got this actually from uh Gotham City Comics in Arizona. Okay. Would you pay for that there? Uh I think it was about 40 bucks, 50 bucks. Oh, that's really cheap. I that's need to start really shopping cheap. over there yeah. then. Did you yeah, just he's got some great books and stuff? Did he per, per, did wrong. he particularly let me ask you, did he particularly hold it back for you? Uh he was showing some stuff that he got in oh, and man. uh actually on youtube and i was like uh, put in the chat hey man hold that for me right and wow so, yeah it was good is enough it, to do that so so is it fully attached and everything what do you what is oh, the yeah. grade on that baby uh it's probably a good vg minus something like that oh okay that's a great price a mark at the top there but everyone in that collection that he got in had that a at the top so is i don't it, know so that that's really a good. Dealer Store mark, mark for somebody's initial. I see that A on a lot of books. I yeah. think that's a pedigree mark, probably. I think so too, but so and yeah, this from 51. This one's on 51 also. And it's a Maurice Whitman, you can tell by yeah, the girl. Oh, I'm, I was gonna show that book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You probably have a better copy, but yeah, this is no, no, no. not bad. And yeah, there again, it was about 50 bucks. So very That's cool good. cover, saving her from the stampede. And yeah, these are kind of fun reads. I don't know if you've read them or not, but yeah, they're pretty fun to read. Even though they're romance books and stuff like that, you get some cowboy element in there. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. 
Is it more about the girl or the guy? Uh, yeah, it has quite a bit in there about the girl, and I forget what her name is. There's a character in there, but I forget her name. And let's see, I'll show you one more. Oh, Pawnee Bill. Pawnee Bill. Uh, this one is volume yeah. one, number one. I need that. From Almost 1951. Looks... And is that um is that Bill Ward art? Uh no, it's it's uh let's see uh Steve Steve uh I can't read my own writing. <laughs> uh Kirkle? Steve Kirkle? Oh, okay. Just so, the girl kind of looks Yeah, it kind of looks Bill Wardy with the hair there. Yeah, just stuff. the hair, yeah. That's what I was going by. So, Bat Masterson and Wyatt Earp. You get two of them, plus old oh, Pawnee wow. Bill. Yeah, I'm always looking for that one. Yeah. That's really cool. cool. So, all right. Go ahead and keep going. Let me keep going? Yeah, go ahead. What about a Kit Carson? Oh, yeah. I think well, that's I, interesting. Is that one that you sent me? Fights the Comanche Raiders. I don't know. Maybe I did. I, I probably had a couple of these. I mean, the old guy might be shot and injured, but hey, he's not too bad off there, right? <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. That's a kid's recovery. <laughs> this is uh, number three from 1951. Uh, it's a Kinsler cover. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah. Very cool. Very good. Guns are blazing. Fighting off that, the Indians, saving Kingsley the babe. Like the one of those underrated, underappreciated artists. He's awesome. Well, I'll show you one more, and this one's you one do. of my favorite Western covers. It's the great Frank Frazetta. Yeah, straight arrow. Straight arrow number. Oh, nice. From 1952. And yeah, straight arrow trying to save the. The babe from the bad Indian there. Oh yeah, Frank Frazetta. We got eight watching. Uh, if you want to get in the giveaway, I'm going to be showing the prize here in a little bit. And you I bought that guys for nine bucks. Oh, nice. nine wow. ninety nine. Show That's yourself cool. you in the chat Frizzetta for nine bucks. That's so yeah. It, it's not in great shape, but it's not horrible either. You know, it's all there and yeah. everything's attached and. Frank Frazetta Western. So, oh, that's crazy. Good man. Look at that. She's on that's her awesome. knees. Thank you for her life. Yeah. All right. Night Tiger's up. What's up, pods? Night Tiger <laughs> here. If you want in the giveaway tonight and Fireball, if you're watching, I still haven't sent out your prize. I want to do that next week with this prize. I'll be giving a book away. I'm going to be showing here in a second. So, if you want to end the giveaway, you got to show yourself in the chat. Otherwise, so far, Las Cruces is the only one in the chat that's in. Uh, so let me show that giveaway right away since we're here. What you got, man? Okay, so you're going to be getting a first love illustrated by Harvey. Ooh. I got two of them. Oh, wow. That's a pretty great prize. Nice. This book actually goes probably the one I'm giving away is probably like a $50 retail book. Wow. I'm still looking for copies of this. I mean, I found these two inexpensive, but it normally goes for around 50 bucks in VG. I just saw somebody selling those like for a hundred bucks here. <laughs> like, oh, I really? just was at a con, yeah. So this is from December 1955. Al Avison. How do you say it? Avison? Avison. Cover? Yeah, Avison. Al Avison. Yeah, some good girl there. He's getting a little nookie on the on the horse. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of pissed in the background. Mm, there's always that girl that's got her feelings hurt in the background. So let me see which one's going out. Um, they pretty much look almost identical in grade. So I think this won't be the one going out. It actually has the receipt right there with it. Sweet. What do you got to do to win that great prize? Night so to win this great prize, Night Tiger, I mean, Jamie the Kid, <laughs> you got to just show yourself in the chat. So we got Eric Breen. What's okay, up, well. Eric? We got Gratu Orloff IRL. All right. And we got Las Cruces. So we got three in the running for this book here from 1955. So 
So at the end of the show, you may be a lucky winner. All right, let's move on. We're moving on. I got some, I got, some, well, here's another Cowboy Romance from First Love Illustrated. This is number 46. I loved him too much. That's from November 1954. I love trying to, I, I'm always looking for the romance Western. Uh, if oh, I go nice. silver, I like to get in the 50s era. But that's a really cool cover. Just a, just a niche kind of thing, and there are people that go after these. So if you pick up a book cheap, you got a good investment in a book like this for your collection. It's great art, man. All right, so we're we're gonna bring Eric. We're gonna bring some people. So Alan, oh, you want me to? Want me Alan, to show oh well, yeah, yeah. Hey, he's standing yeah. in the fire. He's getting his ass burned. Look at that. I know. Why is he so close to the fire? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Flaming Western Romance, formerly. Oh, this is a scarce crossover genre. Back, uh, LB Cole cover art. First of two issues, Target Western Romance. Yeah, Target Western other Romance one. Is, was the first. Yeah. <laughs> he is says, from, you know what really burns my backside? A flame about that high. This was from March 1950. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so you showed that one. Uh, you didn't show number two, but here's number two. Fire hair. Uh, I was just about to show it. I got all those. I was pulling them out. Sweet. I actually like this better than number one. Number one, she doesn't look that good. It still but looks okay. What's the deal with the wagon wheel? I mean, is that her cover or does she have I her think bag? I think that's when she, you know, like maybe, you know, uh, kind of like going back to her roots where she was sort of like ambushed, right? Oh, yeah. I think I did read the origin. It's been a while, though. Plus, plus, she can kind of roll it along in front of her, you know, to kind of walk <laughs> yeah. the top a little bit. On yeah. that first cover, though, she looks ugly. On this one, she looks more beautiful. Well, she got the fair faucet hair working there, man. Now, how the heck did she get a green buckskin shirt, though? She had to dye it somehow. Yeah. So what does it say? Ride the blazing range trails of Kit Carson, Buffalo Bill, with the six-gun queen of the Redskin Ranges, fire hair. Oh, yeah. I was married to a redhead. I don't recommend it. <laughs> are they as fiery as their hair? They are. They're psycho. <laughs> they're, they're they're good in bed, but they're psychos. <laughs> uh, My Alan, girlfriend was a redhead. Yeah. So, yeah. You sh you showed number one. Here's number two. Oh, nice. I, I didn't even realize there was a number two. That's the last issue. Oh, so it's only ran two issues. It's a Gerber mm -hmm. six. Actually got a little letter there from the, the seller. Nice painted cover. This is from 1950. This is number two, Avon. And I will show a couple more here. Uh, this is the reprint from IW. Did I, uh, did I send this to you? or I have a Yeah, you sent me a copy of that. Along the frontier, I'll bring you with it later when I come across okay. it. <laughs> frontier romances from 1958, obviously a Fox feature reprint, Kinsler cover says number nine, but it's actually number two. And I'll show a couple more, I'll show my fire hairs so they can get those out of the way, or not my range ones, but just the fire hair pioneer west romances. Number three, so this is from spring 1950. There was three title changes. One and two was Firehair Comics. Then it went to Pioneer West Romances. Then it went back strictly to Firehair. These are pretty tough to get. Everybody's after these books. Yeah. Everybody loves Firehair. Firehair. I don't have the DC. Is it the DC one? Yeah. The DC. Yeah. The kid. Here's number 11. Spring 1952. Oh, so it's not the same fire hair? No, yeah, it's, it's a, it becomes a boy. Yeah. Uh, a boy. Wolves of the Overland Trail. Nice, colorful cover. That nice, deep blue background. 
spring 1952. Okay, people in the, oh, we, our, our comment sires fiction, our, our comment section is filling up Fireball. Shout out to you. I got your prize here. I'm going to send it next Saturday. So sorry about that. I want to, I live in a rural area. I don't make it out to the post office quite often. And I figured I'd just send both prizes together. Fire hair number eight, summer 1951. Nice wolf cover. She got a torn dress there for all you guys that like torn dresses. <laughs> the Indians hanging there. They're both hanging on that one little branch, man. That thing better not break. Yeah, it's amazing that that branch is so stable. Like <laughs> <laughs> Raid of the Red Arrows. All new. It's an all new story. So let's do some shout out, show my last book, and we'll move on to Alan. Friar Tuck died it with berries and pine needles, he says to the dress. Very funny. Thank you for that. And then we got Lee Baumforth. What's up? Welcome. That's a new name. Haven't seen him before. Fireball says, great. That's fine. He won last uh, streams giveaway. We got I Love Disney Comics. Uh, we did have him. Steve, our favorite guy. I'm trying to get him to show do a haul. This dude's probably, probably got like three stacks of comics he's been collecting. He's just... He's been working his buns off, and he just feels like you don't want to do the, the video. He would rather read the comics, and I don't blame him. So we said Friar Tuck's here. He's speaking Spanish. What's up? <laughs> Chambo checked in. Eric Breen. Oh, do, can I check in and win, too? Well, unfortunately, if you're a guest, you can't. That's your <laughs> your prize is you're a guest on Night Tiger Comics, and that's better than any comic you can get. Okay, I'm gonna show my last uh, one. We'll move on, we'll move over to Alan. Fire hair or Pioneer West Romance is number six. As one 1950. I was showing, yeah, nice. She doesn't have a green dress because she's got a green background. Mm. I'm just mm. assuming that's why they didn't make it green. She's white queen of the Indians. It was so wash day, man. Is she white queen or red queen? That's a little confusing here. <laughs> an, an all new feature. So I guess we'll have to assume that's her sidekick over there. Yeah, the boy in behind her. Yeah. I, imagine, yeah. I mean, I definitely want to be her sidekick. No doubt about that. Which side? Uh, <laughs> the back side or the front side? <laughs> or the inside? Oh, sorry. Did I say that? Oops. Okay. All right. Hold on. We make a comma here. Deep root systems on the limb. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Right. So you showed fire hair. I'm going to show a book just because it's related to fire hair, but it's not westerns. It's not romance. It was, but it is fire hair. This is the first appearance of fire hair here. Oh yeah, I forgot you had that. I have actually uh, actively so been Rangers looking for that. Comics number twenty one. It's that actually a, a good girl cover, though. That's that is a I love that cover. That spooky dude in the background. You got the bondage yeah. girl. Look and how like, short her dress is. I know, and you got all the look. You got the Japanese on this side, the Americans coming in. Oh, nice, dude! Side. That book has it all. Yeah, it's a really cool one. Hooded guy and everything. Now that's her first appearance, and this is her first cover appearance. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. That I is a I great a cover. She, this one is like, you know, it's got the, you know, fiction house, it's faded colors kind of issue. I have to say that she looks much better in that outfit than that green dress. Yeah, I like this better. It's a little bit more, a little sexier. A lot I think sexier. this is, a, I think this is a dual in as well. If and I, if I'm not mistaken, she looks like she has a couple more cup sizes on that one than normal. <laughs> she could almost be Power Girl. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Alan's like, what are you talking about? Power, I like Power Girl. No, but her cup size. Look how big her breasts are on there compared to the Actually, other. Actually, no. In this one, yeah. Normally, it's not. she's not so well I endowed. know. <laughs> and look, that, that dog's about to take a bite out of it. Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, he's like right on the. Right on the. Right on the hood ornament. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we got another Rangers comics. Yeah. I yeah, think she this is the first appearance of this dude. Um, Suicide Smith. Suicide Smith, yeah. She does not look that good there. So yeah, this is this is more Maurice Whitman style. That looks like her 
dress that she would put on if she was going to a ball or something indian ball yeah it's not quite as sexy as the other one like the other one's like a sh short skirt and halter top and this is the like, editor probably said tone it down tone it down tone it down it tone it down yeah so that one's and this one is even less sexy i think uh, it's got a uh, more of a suggestive i like her hair on that one it. yeah i mean it looks better than the last one for sure the red fiery hair there blowing behind her. Mm. Cool. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even sure who did this one. To tell you the truth, do you guys know? I don't. Uh, doesn't look like a Whitman. What? No, what it doesn't look like Miss Whitman. It's, oh, guys uh, in the chat, look it up. Number 49. 49. So hmm. it's before sure. Maurice Whitman was starting. To, I think he was later. Did Baker do any of the Ranger covers? No, I know he no, did. Uh, no, he didn't. A lot of the uh, Jumbo. Yeah, he um, he didn't do any uh, of the Rangers. Oh no! I now see that's a really horrible you cover. I, I think I have that one. Yeah. So th th whoever was the artist, I think the same artist did both of these covers. I don't. Really Even like the these. horse looks terrible. It's been Iger Studio. Everybody pushing in. I know. What's but going hey, on with the portions? Flame Girl of the Wild West. I like that title. Yeah, Tiger Man, I confess. Nice oh, buffalo. The buffalo looks uh, look. The buffalo looks like a a, a hedgehog, <laughs> doesn't it? Looks, it? A little, <laughs> looks a, little, a little warped. I don't know. Yeah, look at the nose. It's like a snout. I think they didn't really like this artist because soon after Maurice Whitman takes up the <laughs> Bill the art. Burrow probably came in and said, "Let me try a cover." <laughs> yeah, this one's a little bit weird. So yeah, so those are the fire hair. Do you want me to show some more or? Well, let's go to let's go to Jamie. Let's okay. keep it going. Hey, Higgy pops in here. What's up, brother? Higgy, Higgy. I gotta watch it. I haven't watched your new video yet. I saw it drop uh, well, today. I think Jambo's on Safari, man. There you go. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Up close, little little cheesecake too. Saving the babe. Right. Got the headlights out there. Yeah, See, that gun kind of weird. Though. What is that? What number is that? Fifty five, forty five. That is. 63 63 i need to find that one i need to i need some more ranger comics in my life another one nice one who's that cover you don't know i don't know Iger well, you're... just says Iger studio so oh, yeah. yeah it's Iger house yeah that looks a lot similar to the pioneer west probably everybody um, on. that one's probably maurice whitman it is uh, number 61, 1951. It's it's not bad. Maurice. Boy, her skirt hemline just changes. It goes up and Some down, up and call down. Me Maurice. Yeah. I think the earlier versions of Fire Hair, she was a little bit sexier. I like most of Maurice's stuff. Mm. Does a good job. Here's a... Oh, yeah. And we brought a tomahawk really to a gunfight. I think I have that one somewhere. And there's some bondage in the background. I know. I like the bondage part. She and looks like she's kind of relaxed in there. Yeah. yeah, she's sort of like chilling on the back there. <laughs> That's two, a great, yeah. 1950. And those are, those are really good reads, too. What is that? That's a youth magazine publisher? Uh, yeah, I think it's youthful. Yeah. yeah youthful. Or a youthful Doug magazine. Wildy. There you go. Wildy. Don't know. Him. Indian fighter. And then it was was it it was either redskin first or it came redskin, or uh, the title. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Mike, you got some of these, uh, right? I I had I didn't have any until I saw you start showing them. Then I then I found one. Nineteen and forty eight. Yeah, there's some good covers in that series for sure. Yeah. What does it say? The gr cross draw kid. Cross draw. The skull. Kid. The skull. Outlaw Mesa, Duke Buckland, Sheriff Sal, Thrilling True Western Outlaw Stories. Yeah, nice. partner. Some good stories there. Jambo's always bringing the thunder. And the gold. And I got number three. It's a Doug, little rough. Willie, Doug Wiley did Johnny Quest for a head of a barrel. I like that girl on this one, though. Oh, yeah. And there are Canadian issues of this album. Western Adventures. Oh, wow. Well, that's uh, number three. That's um, yeah. Max Elkin. That's a, a Seduction of the Innocent one. 
Gold uh, Jambo, I su like I'm suggesting some Mylar for you. <laughs> I've got some. I just haven't put it in there yet. So that's actually a big one. That's as I said, it's seduction of the instant. Yeah. Oh, Max Elking cover. Yeah, I like that Al cover. Alan, you're stuck on some book from the 1950s. What? You're stuck on some book from the 1950s from, from a psychiatrist. That's a good book, though. I mean, it yeah, changes no, I everything. Like right? I like collecting it's, that stuff. It's sarcasm, Alan. <laughs> Number four, another Max Elkin. Yeah, that's great. The the, the, the detail, the, the level of detail. Yeah, this is some good that he work, puts man. in these books. Yeah, cross draw kid. Strangely El enough, Tiger. I just picked, up, I just picked El, up number one from that series today. El oh, did great tyranny. Yeah, it's not a good girl art cover though. Mm. And why did you pick it up? Be the only one, man, because most of these have the girls in with the hero there. I have a hard time getting a number I'll one if it's you. like what is it? Uh, one of those EC is it Gunfighter number one? I don't want it because it's not a good girl cover. <laughs> I'll show one more. Oh man, you have quite a few. That one's a great one. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the girl's I, kind of dangling off the. Yeah, I love there. like the the composition of it. It's really really draws you in. Yeah, it's right colors, red dress. He's got a red, or is that is that red, red shirt and green pants? Green, shirt. green pants. Very colorful. Yellow mm. trade dress. This is uh from 1949. This is number yeah, five, maybe. But I gave five bucks for it. Dude, oh, wow. I'll, I'll give you ten. <laughs> Double your money. Yeah. Double my money. That's a profit. So <laughs> let me show some more. Okay, we're gonna go to me, but let's do a clip. Okay. So what do we got here? Um get up. Strap it on. Can I put my pants on? You're not going to need them for long. What the hell's this all about? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you mean you're going to try? Any time you're ready. Again, Harry. Again. 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 <laughs> Have you seen that movie? My girl, no. yeah. Rick Hill. Yeah. She's so wait, why did she let him shoot her though? Like she shot him and she should have just finished him off. She didn't do what she was supposed to. She didn't shoot twice. Yeah. You got a double What's tap. A double tap, man. You always yeah, got a double tap. tap. It's like rule number one, right? <laughs> right. Jambo, if you want to go ahead, yeah, show some more. All right. What about some oh, nice. B Barbie riders? Yeah. I don't I don't think I, I need I'm looking for 18. Is it 18? Not babes on this cover. Yeah, I think everybody's looking. Is it yeah. 18 or 14? 18 is that cover. bondage where she's on the rack. Yeah, I have that one. Oh, you that's, that's 14, I believe. I think 14, I 14. No issue number it is. I think it's 14, yeah. You have yeah. it with you tonight? I can grab it. It's it's that's not a Dick uh, Ayers not, cover. Yeah, but it's awesome not cover. Uh, Western. So yeah, it is. That's B Barbie Riders. Western, that's a Western yeah. title. Oh, okay. I can grab it. I'll grab it while you guys are doing your thing. Yeah, sure. you can show it on your next round. Straight arrow nice. saving the I gave a bunch, a couple Native handful American. of my straight arrows over to Charlton like five oh, yeah? years ago. Yeah. It's a Fred Meager cover from 1951, number 14. Bob Powell artwork nice. on the inside. Bob Powell, he did a lot of those. And let's see. I'll show you some more B Barbie riders. There you go. Bay yeah, they got some horror elements to some of them covers. Yeah. Pretty cool. Bob Powell. Oh, covers. what's up? 
Man Cave's in the house. Hey, Man Cave. What's up, Parm? So, cool cover. I got to remember to spell Alan's name yeah. with an A. I keep forgetting. In Dude, come on. Keep You keep throwing that in my face. <laughs> <laughs> here's a here's a red skin mic. We were talking about these. Yeah. The babe there. That one too. Yeah. Bondage going Get over, the, over the waterfall. Oh, Where is his leg? Look how high the branch goes and look at his legs. I mean, if that sign wasn't there, how is he <laughs> holding on to that branch? Be up here where my fingers are, right? Unless he's got them twisted. He might be hanging by his, his feet or his toes, man. I know. This is number 12. From That's a great one. I always look. I, 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 I think I have two copies of that. I'm not sure. I always looking for it. I always, if it's under 30, I'll buy it again. Yeah. All right. So, Man Cave said Severed Head cover is classic B. Barty Rider cover. Hey, Man Cave. Nice. Got some Wild Bill Pecos. I'm still looking for 27. Dave. You have 27? Uh, I'm not that sure. one where she's like super huge on the cover. No, I don't think I have that one. Then it's really tough. I haven't. Seen... This is number thirty-five. Tennessee Joe got a copy, and I've been looking for one ever since. Uh, Sid Chores, and from nineteen fifty-one. Old Sid Chores from Marvel fame. Nice. All right, throw one more away, and then I'll, I'll throw. Some. Is it my turn or Alan's next? I forget. Hey, you're after me. Oh, I just picked that one up recently, and oh, there's another. You? There's another copy on eBay uh, right now. I probably need one. one. Mine's kind of rough there at the top. It's it's they're always rough. The other one's rough too. Ajax, they just cheap paper, man. They just didn't have good quality paper. This is number four from 1951. There's a. A pretty good covers of that, even without the good girl in that yeah, one writer. Yeah, I like that one. Probably my favorite cover. Yeah, definitely. Some I reason. think that's the only good girl win in the whole run, though. <laughs> cool character, even though it is a Lone Ranger clone, but still pretty cool character. Yeah, there was a lot of them. I, I have a few other clones in here. What's up, people? Night Tiger Comics just roasted some coffee over to Camp Bar. <laughs> Just got off the saddle, mosey on in here to show you some books. Um, here I have a very scarce Western romance uh, series. There's only three issues in here, and it took me about six years to find number one and number uh, two. Actually, I picked up a second copy of number one. So this is number this is number one here. Now I pick up a second copy of number two. Western Love Trails. Really uh, great. Uh, who does this? I, uh, the dude it's Louis, Louis uh, Zansky. Yeah. R Romance on the Range, Sheriff Sal, Dude Ranch, Romeo. Cops from Ranch, Romeo and the Girls. But just great. Romances of the Ranch and the Range. The Dude Ranch. So that's number one. Here's number two. Renegade Kisses and the Ghost Town Heiress. <laughs> March 1950. It says number nine, but it's actually, I'm sorry, this is number three. It says number You could nine. tell they were kind of going for the girls, but then they were trying to keep the guys kind of interested too. Renegade Kisses, that would have been for the girls. And I guess Ghost Town, what was that, Harris? And these are by Ace yeah. Comics, but really, really scarce. Uh, it's funny. I got this one like whew, like six, seven, probably eight years ago. Right. And it's actually really tough book. And then I've been looking for the rest. And then two years ago, a lister sells. Um, let me let me rephrase that. I found this one, and then a seller listed these two. For ten dollars and twenty dollars, and they're like hundred and fifty oh, wow. to two hundred dollar books. So I was very happy. Yeah. Wow. And then number two, I still haven't found a complete copy of number. This is the only number two I've ever seen. Comic warehouse. It's missing the centerfold. They would not come down on the price on this thing. It's missing two wraps, but wow. I got it for from DTA collectibles. 
But, oh, GTA. Uh, you know, Twenty-two you dollars email him direct instead of going through. Oh, uh, I talked to him on the phone several times. Oh, really? I've called him up and I say, "Dude, your website sucks. It's so slow." He's like, <laughs> "It's I, really." He's slow. like, I, "He's like, I know. Here's the number. Call what's his name and tell him that you told me that." So, because I went on there, I called him like ten years ago, and then I went on there like three years ago, and I'm like, "It's still slow." So I called him back up again because I was trying to find a, um, a modern comic by quality the one that has the space cover with the girl has the fishbowl helmet and oh, they had yeah. it on their they had it on ebay but i couldn't get it on the website because it was so slow and i knew it was cheaper so i called him up and he answered the phone did you pick it up yeah i got it oh cool so that's number two right here missing two wraps i've never seen another copy of number two yet so very happy to have all the whole series and I have doubles, but I'm never going to let it go. So back off, people. <laughs> All right. So we have some Fiction House up next. I got this at the flea market for 10 bucks. It's a really high-grade copy. Oh, nice. That's Probably like man. a fine plus. I'd really like to get the full series of Cowgirl Romances. Number three from 1950. Oh, I paid $12. Sorry. Oh, wow. Man, good deal. That's really cheap. It's very high grade. It just had a spine roll, and I pressed it out, and it looks great. Wow. Got a nice muscle tone sitting right there on the back side. <laughs> muscle tone. Got a little cheesecake. Uh, anybody want? Go ahead, get a cigarette if you need one. <laughs> and what do we have next? We have, uh, what is this publisher? I forget. Uh, PL Publishing. So this is number three, Red Arrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. PL Publishing. This was a three-issue series. Again, number one is not a good girl cover, so I don't want it. But right. number two number two is, and I do have it in here somewhere. That's I like the color. warp on it there. He's, he's got a lot of colors in it, yeah. Yeah, keep a lookout for these. I, hmm. There was one on a lower grade one on eBay for like, 20 bucks. I didn't grab it. I should have. So that's PL Publishing. Oh, these are from October 51. Nice. So very, very scarce. Uh, nice green dress. <laughs> nice clean art. Red Skin green Renegades, dress. Mission to Danger, and Ghost Dane. What does that say? Ghost Range? Ghost Dance. There could be some horror elements in here. PL Publishing. I don't think they publish too many series. <laughs> right, where are we at? And oh, we're almost an hour in, so I'm going to go ahead and skip it over to Alan. Okay. Oh, I'm I very... couldn't. I couldn't find the uh, B bar uh, B bar B bar B race Raiders. I know that's really hard to say, isn't it? Yeah, it just always gets me. Uh, it's all the B's. Um, but I'm going to show you some Annie Oakley. Nice. So we got Annie Oakley and Peg, her horse, right? And then we got that's number, I forgot what issue number. I think that's a. <laughs> <There's>, <laughs> and then we got another number one. This is a, the Silver Age number one. That was the nice. Golden Age number one. This is the Silver Age number one. And then we got. Another number one. <laughs> this is the Golden Age number one. Now, who does the cover on that? Uh, I forgot the guy's name. Famous guy. I I can't remember. I can't remember. Who uh, I think it's James Earl. I don't remember. I have a copy in here. Not that one, but a different issue. Well, I don't know if I have it on there. Yeah, but it's you know it's a cool. He's it's, got you know, a unique unique style. Yeah, I I guess it's James Earl because I'm looking at. Number four, and it says James Earl cover, and it's okay. the same style. <laughs> so, James, James Earl that. Jones, James <laughs> Earl James, Earl James, Earl James Jones. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's like you know, good girl, a bit of humor. Yeah, yeah. Marvel's kind of a little yeah. cartoony look to it. Yeah, it's all timely. Yeah. Uh, Here's another nice. one. So this is you know Earl James as well. And she's got, she's got a great like, look, yeah. She's got him like, uh, you know, 
love struck and making breakfast for her. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Another yellow. I don't know what did the dress. real Ann, Annie Oakley look like. You know, was it just like this girl that's in the the? She didn't look that good. Let's put it. That yeah, way. that's what I think. That's what I remember. No. This is the actress, but yeah, right. A lot of those female cowgirls, real yeah, life, they weren't look so pretty. pretty. They look pretty. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they were in and the rough got, old west. So oh, yeah, nice, nice. Got you got one. the whole run. I'm working on it. I'm missing like one or two issues. You probably. I don't think have I'm missing only one issue. Actually, I'm missing number two. Because the one I have, you haven't shown yet. I'm missing number two. That's the only one I'm missing, actually. Um, so this is uh, Bill. It says Bill Williams art, but I think it's a different. Co I think the cover is also um, James Earl. Yeah, it looks fairly similar to that style. Or Earl James, I should say. Earl James. <laughs> got He's got two first hoops. names. And uh, yeah, it's kind of cute. She's like got him going through the lasso. lasso. So, yeah, so those are my Annie Oakley. Do you want me to show some more? Go ahead. Throw us three more. I'll show you three more. Okay. Uh, we got some Cow Puncher. Oh, nice. Uh, there you go. Kit West. Yeah. This oh, is, wow. Uh, Yours is lower grade than mine. Al Omer cover. Yeah, this one's got just a big chunk missing right there. But other than that, all right, you got the main part of the cover there, the good part. I know, and it shows really, really well, except for that one piece. Right. Actually, I, when I bought it, I even noticed until later because I was so focused on other. Well, parts. yeah, you don't. That's probably the last <laughs> thing you look at, really. <laughs> yeah. So I know I was quite happy with it, and this is Avon, nineteen forty-eight, and then we got. This one I got took out of the bag because it's can't really see it. This is a another cow puncher, cow puncher number three. It's just a you know, the girls <laughs> looks like the guy right over here is uh, about to rescue her, and the other guys are. Yeah, if you don't pick her up, she's gonna definitely get trampled. Yeah, it looks like bad things are happening. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, but this is another Al Omer cover. And I'm going to show one more cow puncher. I've got to grab it though. And this one is actually um, Jack Kamen cover. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's probably that and, this, and the one with the wagon wheels, the two most famous. The I two biggest covers. ones, yeah. yeah. But yeah, like that the was there. The she's getting ready to get branded. She's, she's in bondage, and yeah, he's got yeah. the branding iron there. And. Yeah, bad things are going to happen. <laughs> yeah, her dress is already torn and stuff. Right. So looks a little bit. Bad things have already happened a bit, I think. <laughs> um, so nice Jack Kamen cover. He always yeah, has the girls with yeah. something going on. And okay, since Mike hasn't come back, I'll show one more cow puncher. Nice. Okay, cool, cool. No, I'm here. I just, yeah. I just forgot some books that were on the shelf, so I had to grab them. I like this one. I, I like yeah. fire covers. And this one, like the horse is on fire, the girl's on fire. It's like in purple look, dress. Look, it like it's actually on his arm, like on her dress or butt. I don't know what that's look how close it is to his hair. I mean it's it's crazy. Yeah. Part of his hair was on fire. Yeah, her yeah, look, this, I mean she's wearing that mini dress. I, I know. know. And it looks like it's actually been burned. It's kind of got that scorched yeah. look right there. So yeah, yeah. This is cow puncher number five. Good, good She's eye. Hot. Man. Yeah, so those are psychedelic comics yeah. is in. Yeah, she's okay, hot. So you... those are those are some of my good girls. Well, it's time for you to get some psychedelic comics. <laughs> psychedelic. That's comics. why we're here. I the whole have show. A few psychedelic comics actually. Yeah, or this start whole a new show. Genre. This whole show is about inspiring you guys to pick these books up. <laughs> How about some Black Phantom? Oh, I got to show her. Oh, yes. Somewhere. Uh, that's another one I could show. Yeah. I you have, have her first that. appearance, too, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I have I'll both. See you here in a yeah. second. Hey, uh, John's uh, Comics with Kids is in the house. And yeah, they're all they're all filing in. Frank Bowl cover. Nice. Kicking and square in the jaw, man. I mean, you know. Only issue, unfortunately. Yeah. They yeah. She's there an was interesting be a character, though, one, actually. I know. There never was. She, she used to be a uh, bandit, an outlaw. Yeah, she she's fell a in, girl. She fell in love with Red Mask. 
turned Started out as a bad girl. There she is. And that's her henchman in behind her. Yeah, I knew that. The Frank Bowl. Show them together. The, the, she has a. I like that look better. Which one do you like? Yeah, better? I think I like that look better too. Yeah. I actually, yeah, I like the original look. Her hair's back, pulled back with a mask around it. I think she looks much sexier. She's more Zorro like kind of. Yeah. yeah. More more outlawish. Yeah. And she don't have the hat on. Same guy doing both covers, but yeah, I like this one. Or even the boots, even yeah. the boots look sexier. Yeah. Yeah, she's got the heels on the boots there. Yeah. Whereas I the am. other boots they are more might kind be, of... but yeah. Rawr, yeah. Rawr, rawr. So, yeah. Her and costume looks Tim... tighter too. I knew that. Girl yeah. that girl. I need that Tim Colt in my Tim Holt in my life. Here's oh yeah, me. I have that. I have oh, that. Yes. It was the third big issue. Actually, the reprints are nice looking. Jamie finds oh. a way to slip some moderns in here. I know it, man. Well, I figured you'd <laughs> want Actually, to I like the, the... That's a great those, cover um, right there. Bill Black. What's his... Bill Black. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say Bill yeah. Black. I was just getting their name Number from my head. <laughs> That's a great cover. Uh, I, I like, like Femme Force, so I like, you know... Oh, yeah, I like Femme Force. This is on the back of one of those. Oh, wow. Jane oh, really? Russell. Wow. So... That's why we have movie yeah. actresses because the real women of the West didn't look too hot. Yeah, she was <laughs> definitely a good girl. Old Jane Russell. Nice. I love those gloves. <laughs> and what about a Schomburg? There you go. Man, you guys are preempting me on everything. You sons of guns. Who's this guy? He's a uh, Buck Ranger. Buck Ranger saving the day there. Nice. What's that on that medicine? Is that labeled? Is, there, is it say anything on that label, or is it I just? I think so. Oh. Let me see. I think it, it probably does. He always like labels everything. I can't see something. Quad no, bat. I don't know. I'm just curious if sometimes they add these little. <laughs> they add these little things in there. And some Tim Holt. There you go. Oh, nice. Look at this guy up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, what is that? or Minotaur or something? Oh wow! I don't think she's gonna make it, guys. I really I don't. I don't think she's gonna no. make it. She's like, what is she uh, doing out in her nightgown? Yeah, I don't know. I was. <laughs> well, you know, when you're crossing story, a bridge, but... I mean, I prefer it, but I'm just saying. Now, if you're gonna cross a bridge that's rickety, you gotta be exactly. In it's like exactly, yeah. and high heels too. Free flowing yeah, movement knows. there, I guess. You know, I don't know. Now those are by Magazine Enterprises, correct, my sir? Yes. And those Probably are fifty. The best Western producer. There you go. They made a lot. There's another fire hair. I think you guys Fires showed this one, Redwood. right, Mike? Yeah, I did I not. It, yeah. I don't think I showed that one. I think I need that one. Was it you, Alan? I'm not sure. I showed a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Another good Maurice Whitman cover. I'll show you another Tim Holt. It's got the good girl in the background there. There you go. That Neither counts. Child. Yeah. Frank Bowl. These have a lot of great colors and stuff in them. I really liked them. Do you that have nice Tim Holt number headdress. 11? That is, no, I don't have that one. I've got uh, 15, I think, is my earliest one. Close to the Ghost Rider. If you have any with Ghost Rider in, that's good enough for anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have it, Alan? Yeah. Yeah, dude. You son of a gun. <laughs> There's a Western. I don't have the number one, but I did get this one the other day. It's, well, that's nice. Frank Frazetta that, cover. That's the second series, right? Uh, Yeah, that's his, well, that's his original series of Frank. Oh, that's the know, first uh, series. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the 50s one. This yeah. is number three. And yeah. I think Frazetta did like Two covers, maybe three. I think, I think he did a bunch of the Ghost Rider ones. Probably my favorite one. Yeah, he did some on Tim Holt also. Yeah, he did. Uh, yeah, Ghost most Rider of the ones covers. on Tim Holt were. Like, and we'll see. A... Remember, you seen it here on Night Tiger Comics. The Bill Hickok cover. Oh, that's a nice one. Hey, watch your Those Hickoks are sort of under the radar, and there's some really great yeah, covers. Yeah, Kinsler. He's trying to steal the babe. There, come on. A real bad guy. <laughs> That's really cool. And one more, another 
Kinsler. Oh. Indians on the warpath. Yeah, baby. Woo, 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 woo. All right, Mike. All right. Got a little hot. Had to take off the shirt. Oh, uh, nobody showed any black hat. Black I, hat I was Western. thinking about showing some black hat. I, I had it. Th- wow, nice. actually was first tonight on something. Number 54. 1955. Found this at a shop in town for thirty dollars. Yeehaw, man! You can't be. I that. actually left it there, and I'm like, "What am I doing?" I went back. Yeah, you better go like, back. I better grab that. Yeah. So this is a thrill, a thrill adventure with Black Cat, and it's not only Black Cat Western; it's Black Cat Western Mystery. Is so that who, is, is that a devil or is that a Il, uh, Elias? Elias. 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 Yeah. But is it Dell or is it? Uh, it should be Harvey. No, it's Harvey, Harvey. Yeah, it's Harvey. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where are we at? Um, this is actually oh. a Canadian comic, Alan. Oh, Women so, Outlaws. Superior. Thanks to Joe, Tennessee Joe. He pointed this listing out to me. Now it is complete, but it is Amazing. a really, really tough book. Wow. And oh, it's that's Canadian. Really nice. uh, I think it's missing a centerfold or two wraps or something. Number three from 1949, but this is the superior variant. Okay, so, so it was originally Fox? Yes. Okay. So you see the little marijuana leaf right there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the superior. <laughs> she looks, the guy down there in the bottom left corner, he kind of looks like Bluto from Popeye. Or I know. What's up with his lips? <laughs> <laughs> The other guy, too. Look at the other guy. I guess is the way he drew him. But she looks hot. She looks similar to... Uh, what well, she got a whip or a club? I don't know. A whip, it looks like. Oh. Oh, really? I thought she was clubbing the guy. No, because look at the tail of the whip in behind her. Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah, you're right. She must have got him pretty good there. Knocked his hat off. What is SDD? Look at that in the T. It says SDD. It's like a little secret code or something. Oh, did I? Oh, I have another one. Oh, that's a so good one. That's number a good one. number fifty six, yeah. October fifty five. I got this from the same shop for twenty bucks. Very nice. This shop, they it's like some of these shops. They know everything about the big keys and the Marvel and the DC. But but when it comes to Golden Age, you know some the areas boss, of the Golden yeah. Age. Yeah, they just don't know. It's like twenty. A lot bucks, of people, 30. yeah, they don't pay attention to westerns either. You know, they just exactly don't really. Well, care. I was at a I was at a con today, and it was like um, they had a bunch Good of golden boots. age, but they just put like ten dollar, five dollars. It's like the prices were crazy. Wow. It didn't make any sense. All right, so we have some red skin number one. Oh wow! Some, yeah. bo- some bondage. Great cover. That's from Youthful Magazine. This is from 1950. We also have two issues of it. Two copies, yeah. Nice. Or two copies. September now, is that a hard one to find? or? Uh, it's uncommon, but it's not like super scarce. If that, if that makes any sense to us nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it makes sense. You might find one listing a year, maybe every eight months or something like that. So we got that. Now, I know you guys may have some of these. You haven't shown any yet. Um, this is number six, Western Crime Busters. Oh, interesting. You know, you don't have yeah. any of these? I don't this have any of those. K-Bar Kate. Yeah. Bullet, pa- bullet Packed Western Issues. Jamie, you have any of these? I've got number one, I think. Oh, Gunslinging Galoots. That's you. That's a word you don't see on a lot of covers. So that's number six. Um, this is number seven. And wouldn't you know it? But this is number seven. Western crime busters, gun singing galoots, K Bar Kate with the red buckskin dress. A lot of buckskin dresses going on tonight. <laughs> Wells Fargo Express. So you're seeing double. You're not drunk. Those are great. I love that uh, title up there, too, the way it looks. Why is it yeah. that you like picking up two copies of things? I've noticed that you do that a lot. 
if I like them and they're the right price, I'll buy them again. And you know, down the road, they're like stocks. You know, if you get them at an investable price, mm -hmm, that's true. And what is it with Golden Age? They either stay the same or they go up. They rarely go down. Mm -hmm. Am I right or am I right? You're right. Yeah. We're going to finish off with this one. Well, let me do two. So this is number 10. Ah. Oh. Some great covers on those. April 1952. I need to get more of those. Now, you out, all you guys... Hey, Eric, what's up? All you people out there in the chat, is that not sexy or what? Are we not showing some of the sexiest Western comics you've ever seen on YouTube? <laughs> Give me a shout out. Give us a yay. We are. <laughs> Eric okay, says Alan. they're pretty easy to find. Just check Mike's house or Mike's hands. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's the one I'm missing. I know. Oh, it's, the, it's the only one that I have. I have an Atlas issue, but this is the only timely one that I have. I don't know why, but the style reminds me of Popeye. Not, <laughs> doesn't it? Kind of? Uh, not really, but... No? Cartoonish, uh, like, like? A bit cartoony, but... It looks like early 40s stuff to me. I mean, it's really cool the way they draw the female face there. This was number... Late 40s or early 50s. But... July 48. Yeah, but it looks so, like something from 1940. Annie Oakley. Mm. Uh, if if you got in late, we're doing a giveaway. This is the book we're giving away tonight. So yeah. you may be the lucky winner for a nice Harvey Golden Age romance comic. This is like a fifty dollar value. So I'm in the chat. Of, this is my gift to you people that tuned in to check out the Night Tiger channel. And I'll, I'll do this one and then I'll pass it on to Alan. Alan showed this oh, one that's already. That's the one I showed. But you got a nicer copy. Yeah. I'm gonna, like Alan, I'm going to be busting this thing out shortly. Oh, it's sad. No, take, it's I'm happy. I'm going to bust it out and read it and smell it and hold it. I'm going to put my nose right <laughs> in the crevice and go. Mm. I'll trade you my copy. Mine's a reader copy. Oh, uh, no. All my copies are reader copies. <laughs> this is uh, 1948. Is that Avon? Uh, Staple? Whatever. I don't know. I'm not going to read all that. But anyways. Cheesecake. My yeah, favorite dessert. <laughs> you need a wallet? <laughs> America's greatest billfold bargain. All right, so who we are? Alan's up next. I don't have that much left to show. Well, did you want Jamie to go? I have okay. I have three books. I'll show three. Books. Do you want to go or do you want to? Yeah, wait? I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. And then I'll just show three books. So um, we've got some more cowgirl romances. This is cowgirl. Oh. This is number one, and they're making bacon. Wow. Oh, nice. They're frying up <laughs> awesome. the pan. He's going for his gun. This is she's, going the, she's going for the kiss. She's going for the kiss. He's going there, don't he? He's got he the looked, babe, why is he got going the for his gun? I guess he hears some sound. And... Yeah. Something in the brush, man. You know how it is. We got to pull happening. out. We got to pull out. We got to pull. And then we got uh, another cowgirl nice. romances. I always thought that was weird. Like, why isn't her She looks like she's it? flying. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very odd cover. <laughs> she looks good, but it's just an odd position. It's an odd position, yeah. Rancho of Golden Dreams. Ooh. Yeah. And the Lady Lawless of Lawless Range. Okay. Ah. Alan, I'll tell you what. You send me two books. I'll send you my better <laughs> copy, and you send me your other one. Nice. Oh, another good one. Okay. Yeah. How close are you on those, Alan? Getting those done? Uh, I don't know. I think I have most of them. I think maybe there's only what them? there was eighteen of them or something like that. Oh, maybe I'm not even close then. I, I thought it was like nine, but I didn't. I don't know. So yeah, this is Marie Whitman, and this is a yeah. typical situation in romance books where the there's the girl and she sees her boyfriend. Yeah, she's girl. all distraught. Looks like he's going for the senorita there. Yeah, she's got like the little uh, flower on her the hair. Ramba, yeah. Yeah. Great Maurice Whitman cover. 
And the horse is just wondering what's going on in the background <laughs> the horse there. Is, the horse is like, he's like, <laughs> what's happening? Maybe here? he's jealous too. Maybe the horse is jealous too. Maybe that's the twist. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So those are my my last three. Those are my last All three. Right. That's it. Hold on, someone just texted me. Uh, I'll go. I'll go to Jamie. Jamie, go ahead. Show some cool right, stuff. Jamie. I got the uh, Western Crime Busters number one. Oh wow. There's the babe in the background there. That's another thing. They wear red boots a lot. Yeah. Bullet packed Western adventures. What's it say? Gun slinging galoots. Yep. Number one. Oh, nice. Oh, so you have it. That's number one? Number one, yeah. Can you show it again, please? Yes, sir. Oh, nice. They thought they they had her in the background and decided to put her up front after number one, huh? Yeah. King Battlefield cover. Oh, okay. I got some covers by him. Yeah. Nice. You can get pretty good there. Pretty good. This is the only one I have of this title. Saddle Justice. Oh, that's uh, interesting. It's AC, number six. 1949. I'm not familiar with that one at all. Graham Ingalls. Look, she's in a bad shape, man. They got the Oh yeah, there. I got that yeah, one. That's a great cover. Falling off the cliff. Snake. Yeah, she's I don't know why one. I wish, I see that one. It reminds me of her like wearing a mohair sweater or something. <laughs> yeah, it looks that like she, a bit. Yeah. That's a great cover. That's the headlights yeah, working. Yours there. looks like mine. I found my low grade for twenty. Yeah, this was better. twenty-five bucks, so you know. Saddle Justice, and that's Saddle Justice number one, or yeah, uh, this is number no. six. Yeah, number six. I'll look for that. Saddle Justice number one doesn't have a good girl. That's the oh, one I was okay. telling you. Oh, okay, so yeah, I'll look for number six then. Okay, everybody, hashtag bring sexy back. <laughs> Here's the gun nice. smoke number nine. Another youthful. Yep. Magazine cover. Gunsmoke is a great. There's. I was wondering, is he breaking her out of jail there? I think Kinsler was like, there. was it Kinsler? Or Ing I think it was Graham Ingalls was editor of that. He created so many oh, new shit. characters for those for that series. I believe it was Ingalls because I did a research. I was going to do a whole documentary on that series. There's a Black Rider from. Oh yeah. Dallas. Oh yeah. I didn't grab my Black Rider. Cool cover. There's some Stitch good Girls Girl and some Black Rider. Yeah, I always love the title. I look, the title looks cool. He looks cool. The yeah, title looks cool. cool. He's jumping the bad guy there, is falling off the cliff or something. And he's all in black. Yeah, yeah. He lost his hat though. But he's, he's a got Lone the Ranger. Name, Lone yeah, Ranger rode know. around in that lame uh, blue shirt, but the, the Black Rider had the black shirt. <laughs> Uh, Gratu says, "Great to see on Slab Comics. That's all you're going to see here, mostly. Yes. Nice, Daniel Boone. Do you, now there's an IW cover of that too. Same exact cover. Yeah, I think. Yeah, this is the Avon one, which is the uh, better one to get. Uh, let's see. What's some Durango kid? There you go. A uh, fire. There you go, Alan. Another fire." fire. On yeah. the wagon there, and yeah, she's That's lost control, one. man. Let's see. How about more Durango Kid? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Saving the babe. Nice pants. Number 30 from 1954. Fred I Gardner. love these colorful the colorful outfits. Yeah. Nice. Nice and tight, colorful. Yeah, magazine enterprises, man. They they did it right. You rarely see a collar that would be on a on a, gir a girl in the West. So I, I'm wondering, like in the real. No, world, dude, like, that is nice. I haven't seen that one. Kirby and Simon. Yeah, and I need that one. Dale Evans. Queen. Oh, of okay. Boy, so it's a crossover. It's a crossover issue. Yeah. Nice. Tell me you paid less than 20 for that. Uh, no, I think I gave, uh, I got less this again from Kevin at uh, Gotham City Comics. I, I don't think I gave up. much for it. It could have been like 20 or 30 bucks. I need to snuggle up to that guy. 
Yeah, he gets some great books sometimes. Yeah, that's I love that. That is so sweet. Pretty awesome. Nice all red outfit. That's DC Comics, people. Thrilling. This is Schomburg again. Schomburg, yeah. Nice wolves nipping wolves. at their heels. Got the babe draped look across the, the saddle there. Look at the muscles on that wolf. <laughs> That's a good one. What year is that? 50? 1949. Nice. So, another good Schomburg. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Let's, uh, let's good girl, that. good girl. Mother. No, it, that's not a Schomburg, or is it? Uh, know, let's see. Yes, this one is a okay. Schomburg. I know he did. Yeah. I know he did. I know he did series. Bronco Bill. Yeah. Yeah, he did several of these. It's a bondage, but I don't think that counts. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Bond, bond, Gratu, <laughs> tell Gratu, Gratu bondage cover. He says that don't count. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you one more Bronco. Hey, Gratu, are you glad to see some uh, sexy good girl here? Oh, you got a slab? No, it's or just no, a... Guys, okay, good. Top top loader. Loader. Yes, much better than a slab. Great it yourself. Save some money. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's a 9-8. There you go. Oh, there we go. She shot the guy in the arm, and he shot the guy in the hand. Yeah, this is number 14 from 1950. Dang, she looks like she couldn't be more than 15 years old, too. Headlights and taillights. So there you go, guys. He really put some definition to the back of the slacks the Both there. worlds there. Yeah, the taillight <laughs> on high beam. <laughs> high beam. <laughs> uh, I don't think that was a Sean Berg, but a good cover nonetheless. What did I just do? Okay. Um, All right, you ready to turn the reins over to me? Yes, sir. Go right, All right. ahead. Let's let's show something here. That won a couple of Oscars, didn't it? I don't is know. That a, That's the first time I ever seen it. <laughs> is that a Bud Light commercial? <laughs> I guess. Could be, right? They probably it's sell more. Like like it. Bud Light commercial, but okay. Can we keep yeah. going or you want to? Yeah, go ahead. If you, got some, you got a bunch more? I got a few oh, more. Nice. Well, because I got a bunch more way. if you want to hold back a little bit. Okay. This is number 11 and from 1948. And that's a Lyman Young. Yes. That girl, that cattle's coming right after her. That steer. And Tim Tyler was just a kid, actually, inside. He's even smaller than that. He's a tiny kid, so. And she was she was a lot younger on the inside, so. And she's wearing white. They were clothes. definitely doing this to attract some attention, so. <laughs> I'm saying so. All right, well, hold back. Here we go. Turning over the reins to the Night Tiger. What's up, pards? Got some sexy girl covers here. We got Negrito over here watching. So we got um, some ACG. Nobody showed any ACG yet. Oh, I got my Batman mug. I roasted some coffee on the campfire. It's good. And we got some uh, 
Hooded Horseman. Oh, with some oh, bondage wow. cover. And Never heard of this one. Exotic girl, too, from India. Wow. She's going to be saved by the Cowboys. This is from December 1952. My comic shop pickup for $22. Wow. This one's actually year. pretty tough. It's actually pretty tough to find this issue. I've never even heard of it. So it was a different title before this. I or no, it changed to another title. I think I have an issue of that too. Yeah. So the hooded it's horseman. ACGs, those early ones are great. And uh she's got some nice sexy shoes. You can see her toes. You can see look at this leg right here. Ooh. Ooh la la. Okay, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> all right and then this one i love this is ajax feral we haven't wow. showed one of those yet so just remember you've seen it here on night tiger comics i hope i inspire you to get your wallets out get on ebay get on my comic shop wherever uh i try i try okay we get some laughter here that was a <laughs> All right. So what do we got? So what did I say? We got some Ajax Farrell, Oklahoma Kid number one. Oh yeah. Mm. Talk about bazoongas. She's being <laughs> held by the chief right there. Nice looking damsel in distress. He doesn't look too worried. Oklahoma <laughs> Kid number one, Ajax. This is from 1957, and found this on eBay for forty nine dollars shipped. Nice. Pretty decent copy too. This is a. There's actually several copies on eBay, but everybody wants a lot of money. I actually waited on this for like three or four years before I got it for less than fifty. Wow! And found it for one dollar under fifty with shipping. <laughs> what does it say over here? Uh, featuring the showdown. So get a good look. <laughs> she might. There's a total eclipse of your eyes right there. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna have to wait. I'm showing some comedy. Yeah, I heard cat? somebody there. Sounds like a cat. Yeah, he wants out. I just picked this up for six dollars. Jimmy Wakeley, number ten, March oh. 1957. Some DC action. Yeah. yeah. There's like only a, a five issues that are the uh, art covers. The rest are photo. Yeah. And collectors really try to go after these, and they can be pricey. There's there's one on eBay right now, way low grade, and they're asking like $50. And I'm like, what? It's missing like a big chunk of the cover. Oh, wow. Dang it, man. This cat wants out. Hold on. <laughs> we are a slave to the cats. Get out of here. All right. Where were we? We're showing some sexy, sexy covers. Another one I found for 50. A uh, nice. This is Avon Fighting Indians of the Wild West. Kinsler. Oh, yeah. Ooh, check that one out. You almost get a good shot up the dress there. <laughs> Black Hawk, Victorio, Crazy Horse, Geronimo. You got all the guys in here. You got some beautiful art. Alan, another fire cover. Mm, yeah, I know. It's like really good. Alder, uh, Alan, it's a shoulder, bare shoulder cover. <laughs> Look at that dress. It's like a huge dress she's wearing, too. It's like she's wearing some curtains or something. <laughs> Looks too big for her. Nice green background, though, on this. Right. There's a low-grade one on eBay right now for like 50 bucks. So if you guys want to go out and get that. Wow. Actually, I think there's, Indians of the Wild West. It's, there's one on eBay right now. I think it's $45, and it's a Canadian copy. Now. Oh, wow. Yeah, so jump on there and get it. Like It's like superior again? Uh, or, or I think, I'm not sure. Probably superior, I would guess. Yeah, usually superior did all the reprints. Yeah, thrilling exploits of the frontiers, most notorious Indian war chiefs, number one. All right, now we got some EC, EC comics. A gun uh, gunfighter. Yeah. I was looking for that book. That's funny. That's really Here it nice is, one. number fourteen, March nineteen fifty. Uh, this is the last issue. Best of the four good girl covers in the run. So yep. you got some you got some little pieces of cheesecake over it's there. Like Johnny Craig. Yeah. So you've got some leg action going. Mm. A little belt a little belly action. She's got the dynamite barrel. <laughs> 
hero in the back. She kind of looks like Lucy Bobal. Mm, yeah, blonde Lucy. Yeah. The buckskin kid. You know, Lucy was blonde before she, I think she dyed her hair blonde or she was in the beginning or something like that. But gunfighter number 14. Sexy, sexy. Sexy is as sexy does. I'm too sexy for my comics. <laughs> oh, I have another issue of Combat. gunslinging cahoots. Yeah. Oh. Western crime. This is number two. So you have number one. This is number two. Uh, November 1950. So not quite a full body shot, but we'll she looks it. upset there or something. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's because she's not fully on the cover. <laughs> yeah. It's a bondage cover, Grot, too. So shout out to you. <laughs> Let me do a couple more here. I mean, I got over half a short box still. Oh, didn't you show this one? Uh yeah. Somebody somebody showed it. So red skin number one. That's cool, number, yeah. number twelve. True bondage cover, October 1952. <laughs> it's being quite acrobatic there. Wow. Let's see what we say here. Wow, great. Oh yeah, Collector 6. What's up? Yeah, we're trying to do some. We got the best Western sexy golden age books on the internet at this point oh here's the atlas oh uh, yeah joe oh, yeah. manili cover ross andrew inside mike espedito espesito on the inks i believe this was a gift from bwd comics so shout out to him nice gift Oakley western tales number seven december 19th Oh, no, October 1955. Okay, you want to show some, Jamie? Yeah, I got some more. All right. We got some Billy West bondage there. There you go. This one's a little rough. She got the little horn right there. Yeah. Boy, that's suggestive. <laughs> Number five from 1949. That's interesting how he drew that. The waist yeah. as if she's wearing like a girdle underneath or something. Yeah. Yeah, she's got that tiny waist going, right? That was a big really thing back tiny. then. This is standard comics. It is, yeah, standard. Standard Nihor. Nahor, I don't know how you say it. Nidor. 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 Well, I heard that the guy's name was Ned that started it, and so they they said Nedor, but I guess it could be pronounced Nedor. But there was a guy Ned that was working at Pines or something like that. Had something. Oh yeah, to do Pines. With it. Yeah. Another fire cover, Alan. Yeah, there you go. I know. Billy West. It looks now, like these, he's on fire too. These are these books that you can find at shows that are, are like five, ten bucks. Number seven from nineteen fifty. This is a Schomburg cover. Nice. Nice. He signed it. Oh, yeah, yeah and he actually signed it Scheinberg too, not Alexa or whatever. Alex. Yeah. No, Alexa. Alexa, yeah, yeah. Or Zia. Zila. Zila. Yeah, Zila. That was his airbrush cover. Nice. Yeah. That I like. That's a great horse. Great over look at that over the bob wire. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. That's a really nice cover. It's number four. 1949. Nice. You have quite a collection here. My my hat's off to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And I don't know back. anybody else but you and me that are really putting together a nice good girl western collection. Yeah, you guys have way better collections for a good girl western than I do. I know. I'm hoping we inspire some other people out there. But then, then the competition gets too much. Yeah, then everybody's looking for them. She's pretty and she daily. John Silardo. You guys have all the pretty ladies between you. Ha ha ha. <laughs> it's the way we like it. It's a sandwich. Good girl sandwich. More Billy West. Number eight. There you go. He's got his accent going. Oh. Another Schomburg cover. Let's see. You're you're yeah, from Kentucky. Where's your draw? 
I, I got a draw. You just holding it back? Holding it back. I'm waiting until we get a little Abner or something like that. And I'll show there you, you go. Real Kentucky. Now are you from yeah. are you from the deep woods of Kentucky? Right in the middle. Right Did you right see in, in that in that Bud Light commercial? She shot him with a gold uh, musket pistol. <laughs> yeah, I seen it was a musket. Yeah, it was a single shot, but she got another shot out of it there at the end, right? Yeah, I don't know if it was out of that pistol, but a six shooter or something. I don't know. I was watching um, Pawn Stars, and the guy brought in a, a silver plated musket, all or no, all steel. I was like, wow, it was really nice. This is another Schomburg cover. Dude, you're killing it with the Schomburgs. He did Look more than it. people think. Yeah. She's Especially got a nice rifle there. Standard stuff, you know. He did. Uh, what kind of rifle rock. is that? Repeater? Uh, yeah, I don't think Colt. so. I don't think that's the Winchester, is it? Maybe yeah, it is. Yeah. It looks like it. Yeah. Maybe it is. She sure is. You gun? You girl. you shoot guns? You got guns? Oh yeah, you got to have guns here in this state. That's why. If you don't have Number one, they nine. kick you out. Nice. He's taking that guy down. Taking out the bad guy. Got all their spurs on. <laughs> she got the yellow, the red dress. Nice yellow cover. You guys are not gun people. We're not. Oh, yeah. Can't even get a drink at the watering hole, man. I know what the heck. I'm getting shot at. Says this one's a Schomburg cover, but yeah, there it is. Is he a vampire? I don't see a reflection. <laughs> yeah, I don't see a reflection either. Of course, they shot up the water before he. How, do you have any idea how many are in that series? Uh,. He was about 21 or 22, something like that. Because you look like you have quite a few of them. One more. Oh, that's a great one also. Yeah, that's a Ralph great Mayo one. Ralph Mayo cover from 1948. Nice. nice definition. I love the red gloves. So. She looks pretty sexy there. Yeah. Sexy good girl western, golden age. It's got everything. All right, we got a few more. Well, hold back, cause I got I got a bunch. Here's oh, nice! I don't have that James. one. James, San Antonio one. stage right, Ray. Yeah, there's the baby. San Antonio, Arkansas's number one outlaw. What's he doing in San Antonio? <laughs> it's from '53. Muskets and Winchesters. Collecto, are you trying to be funny here, or what's going on? Remember, Collecto, you seen it on Night Tiger Comics. Go ahead, All right, Mike. hold back. Hey, what's going on, pards? We got more comic books here to show. Sexy, sexy, sexy. We're going to do some romance. Rangeland love. Oh, yeah, photo cover. I was an outlaw sweetheart. Ooh, oh. that's some sultry reading right there. Robert Taylor. And what does it say? Abilene Doll, Arling Doll, starring in Mom's Ambush. Lovers Magazine. This is a Lovers Magazine. Oh. So it might be hard to get the pages apart. <laughs> oh, did I just say that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, All right. We got some Lone Ranger ripoffs. The Masked Ranger, a real, real Western adventure. With bondage cover, he's got the red, the Crimson Avenger. Ooh, taking over for the mm. Lone Ranger. Uh, I forget who actually is this magazine Enterprises, or I don't know. Premier, Premier, oh, okay. Premier Publisher. Nice okay. dealer mark up there. The Masked Ranger, blonde, tied up. On the chair. Have you ever heard of this title? I've seen it. Yeah. I don't have any, but I've seen it. We got some Avon famous Western bad men of the West. Redskin at the last of the Comanches. 
This is actually number one, but it says number 13. First issue. This used to be Redskin title. Cool. So Graham Ingalls cover. Okay. I was digging when you guys were doing this. So now I found five more books to show. Nice. <laughs> Famous Western Bad Men. I think this is three issues and two of them a good girl. This one is yeah, really tough really to funny. find. It took me years to find this issue. Nice okay. title. There's the top two. I like that. The Jambo Kid showed this one already. Oh, yeah. Nice. Lone, Ri Lone uh, Rider from Feral Publications. Send me, uh, did you send me that as like on Instagram to, to check out a listing? Like? Did I've never I? seen that one recently. I don't, but there's a $20 one on eBay right now if it's not someone didn't snatch it up. Yeah, that's a nice one. Worth getting for 20 bucks. All right. Exciting comics. I believe this is a Schomburg cover. Yes, it is. With a dealer mark at the top, the only adventures right. on yeah. every page. You got the horse's ass, you got the good girl. <laughs> Everybody's showing their butt. Uh, I don't have any info on this one. I do have a British comic. This is called All Adventure Mystery Comedy Suspense Super Streamlined Comics. Hey, look how oh, wow. thick it it looks is. big. Is it like wider than normal? Looks it's really shorter. Wide. It's shorter. But really, it, looks really it may wide. be. Yeah, it makes yeah, it look it, wider. Yeah. It's almost like a pulpish feel to yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like a pulp. But it's, it's a comic. Let's look at it. So you don't believe me? I haven't read this one yet. <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's very pulpy looking. It's all black and white. Well, Hoop Gibson, so I'm guessing it's reprints. Interesting. Look, tells you how to... How, what is it? It looks like what a puzzle it? or something. Yeah, it's telling you something. Some facts. Trailblazing. Oh, it's telling you how to navigate. How to navigate, read the stars and stuff. So very cool. Yep. So that's a British. I picked this up $14 shipped off eBay. I just had a wow. cool cover. And it's got the little good girl right there. I like that, man. Yeah. That's really nice. Super streamlined. Two pounds, six pence. Oh man, I've been I was after a nice <laughs> copy of this for the longest time. Or two shillings. Everybody wants cents. too much money for this. Romance of the West. Because you know who's on the cover? Oh, Lily, Mon Lily Munster. Oh, is that oh really? Yeah. Oh, that's Carlo. So cool. yeah, doesn't she look sexy? As she was that? a beauty, man. Yeah, she was a beautiful the, lady. The that's what the romance is West. Yeah. Number, number one. Number one. Okay. November nineteen forty nine. That's wow. Really cool. It's the cowpoke so who cow another comic besides the monsters. Then the cowpoke who poked me. I mean the cowpoke who laughs with my heart. <laughs> Doesn't she look hot though? Way. She. I've always had a crush on her, even as Lily. Mostly. Yeah, as Lily. no, she was really cute. Yeah. Yeah, she was in some westerns back in the day. She was I a bit older got... by the time that she played uh, Lily Monster, wasn't she? Yeah. She's wearing a lot of makeup on that show. I think she was. I think her husband had been injured, and she was taking that role. Yeah, to, he was uh, a stunt man. Him. Yeah, he was a stunt and man. And at the time, he didn't get no compensation for the injury. Right. Oh, wow. So she had to take on the role of Lily Munster to bring some money into the house. I think. Wow. You just remember? I just remembered. I did some research on her when I got that book. Yeah. That's that's great. So man. you showed wow. this one already. I think yours might be a little better than mine. I think mine's got a piece oh, of tape on This the is spine. completely split cover. Okay. Well, maybe not then. But it's a tough book to get. It is. It's always rough. Oh, that's this nice. is uh DS publishing. Hmm. Border Patrol. Nice. This one was a this one was 63. They wanted well over a hundred for number one. I'm like, I'll buy number two instead. <laughs> Number one has also got a good girl cover to it. The fighting peace officers, border patrol. I mean, come on. Yeah. She has the true color buckskin uh, dress. So look at that. Mexico and U.S. border. That's He's great. the patrol. He's the border patrol. He has the 
the old school border patrol right there. Thrilling range stories of the Wild West law, man. Ooh, I always want to read this. All right. We got a couple. Oh, we got a new new member here. Hey, Grab2, just started Instagram trying to connect with you. The Dr. acquisition. Fibes. Oh, no, that's right. It's Dr. Fives. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good to see you, sir. That's his new channel name. So, yeah, everybody sub him up. Yeah. Great content. Great books. She beautiful, he said. All right, we got some more. Is this Schomburg? I don't know. Uh, like it doesn't it doesn't have a signature? But Rick Bradford, uh, he did a lot. I of think it Bradford. is. Yeah, yeah, I think he did that Schomburg, one. Schomburg, yeah. What is that mm. number? What I don't seven number six? seven. Okay. Yeah, that's probably Schomburg. I think that was yeah, right before or right after the robot cover. I think so. I have the robot Western cover. Adventures. Of you America. got the robot cover, Alan. Yeah. Alan, Alan, let's do yeah. let's do a live stream maybe in May or maybe sometime this year. We'll do sci-fi rockets, robots. Oh yeah, I'd love that. I have lots. Yeah, of let's do that. Jamie, you can get in on that if you got a okay. bunch. I, I uh, only go only Golden Age up up to fifty nine or sixty. Yeah. But no, not, no, let's not do <laughs> to me that's not silver, do, but okay. It is, it is, but you know, there's some cool stuff in that range. Yeah, yeah. Yes, dear. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll have. I'll take it for lunch. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> she made she made me beans and I didn't eat them. Now she don't oh, want to give them up. She don't That's want to give them up. Cowboy dinner right there. Yeah. I know. We made it in the tin. We made it in the tin pot. That's nice. Oh, really? On the fire. That's, 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 I'm just I'm kidding. <laughs> that's the only way. That's the only way to make beans. Saddle <laughs> Justice number eight, September nice. 1948. Last is that, issue, Graham Ingalls. Is it Blazing Saddles where they eat the beans? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. a funny scene. What's going on there? The horse is dead, laying on the ground. <laughs> Unfortunately, it has some pen mark over here, or, but still a pretty tough book. I mean, that I got this nice. for $56 ship, so that's not bad. Actually, oh, Alan, it came from Canada. Oh, wow. I, I remember the seller was from Canada it's because it took the book, took a couple weeks to get here. Yeah, it takes yeah. a while. I just got a, a long uh, jungle time from comic Canada. from Canada, and it, it, it's taken a yeah, while it for it to get here. All right. So you're up again, Alan? Yeah, I got some stuff. I got some stuff. Alan, let me run this. Let me run the intro so Jamie can see it, and then I'll let you go. Oh, my intro. Ain't that bitching, man? <laughs> that was cool. Right. Okay, no Alan's up. That, man. <laughs> okay, so some women outlaws. Oh yeah. Oh, nice some uh, bar girls. Yeah. Yeah, bar girls, and this was another Fox Syndicate feature, and it's also mm -hmm. one from Destruction of Innocent as well, because they thought uh, Wortham thought the girls were inappropriate for you and the Seduction of Innocent. Yeah, it's like you know they didn't. I'm like messing old, with you. You know I like young gal. <laughs> you he didn't like this. He didn't like the. I lady like that. The ladies. Yeah, he just yeah. wanted fortune and fame. Is what he wanted. Young gal. Who did Kate? that cover, Alan? It, uh, it doesn't say who did the cover. It's a great cover, though. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, it is a great cover. Like I like it. The guy is getting shot by the girl. Guys, like, isn't that sexy? 
Is that our buddy Jack Kamen there on that? Look at the fish. It doesn't look like Jack Kamen. Well, the girl's right. face does, the one closest to it. She kind of looks like Rula without the Rula hair. Spinner rack. Yeah. Hey. I don't know who did it, though. I'm not sure. But that's the problem. A lot of these never got attributed, right? Yeah. 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 Warning to everybody out there this is going to hurt your wallet watching this show. <laughs> Lead yeah, paint. So what's thing. up? And this one is the one you showed. Yeah. And that's got nicer colors. Nice. I got this for such a sweet deal, too. It's actually really. I was you want to like, trade? Oh, no, it's just um, somebody had it priced really what, low. So I was what's like, What's the grade? 6.5. Oh, mine's a 3.0, 3.5, 3.0. Yeah, so this is like, um, it was like 200, I think. Nine. Oh, that's a steal on that book. <laughs> so 6.5, like, okay. that's like a, almost $600, isn't it? Like that? Something, Something like, like that. that. It's like pretty pricey yeah. book and high grade. For a grade of copy? Yeah. Yeah. And this That's one the book everybody not... wants. I know, it's great. And then we got. Oh, some... nice. Look at you, photo cover. Photo cover. Is that so I, the girl reminds me of a girl that I had a crush on when I was oh, a kid. So. Did your wife know that? No. <laughs> <She's not> <laughs> it is a cool photo one, cover. This yeah. one, I, 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 I was testing out my uh, my slab wall behind me. Oh, and I cracked shoot. it. Bust that bitch open. But that's a good, that's, cool back cover, too. It is. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. like so, it. Um, photo what's cover. Year, was, what's the year on that? 52? Uh, 1949. Oh, nice. Anytime it's in the 40s, you can go, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got some. Oh, Bandit yeah. Great book. Western Bandit Trails. <laughs> You're way too book. excited about that one, Mike. <laughs> yeah. I've been trying to get a Western Bandit Trails for the longest time, but they're always yeah. so low grade. <laughs> really yeah. expensive. Yeah, this one. Yeah, they, they are. I know the ones I can afford are missing parts uh, yeah. of the cover, maybe a centerfold, maybe not the back. There's not Bake, uh, Baker and Ray or uh, uh, Osrin. Osrin. Oh, you know which one you didn't show? The Mounties. That's a Western. Oh, I have that too. The yeah, that'll, that'll work. Yeah. Well, I didn't bring it. <laughs> where do you, but where you know is what? it? I could have shown that. Well, it's in, I, I don't know. I, I can't find half my books. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but I try. I do try. Um, so this is red circle. Oh, it's kind okay. of western. Yeah, you got the horse. You got the girl. So you got the horse. And, and you, you got, got mountains. So I think it'll work. Now you. That's to cool. That I, this I was the what? I was going to say I, I haven't. That's one I don't see very often. Yeah, I actually thought no. this was the first appearance of Dorothy Lamour. Because uh -huh. like these ones had different. Like it was like um one of those ones where they just put this cover on it, but it was like different. Material, yeah, 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 yeah. And this is the Dorothy Lamore one, like really oh, okay. high grade, though. Eight five, nice, but it's PGX eight five, so whatever that means. Um, <laughs> that means you got it cheaper, and then we got, um, actually, yeah, I got it cheaper because I, I think I paid like a hundred bucks for it or something. It's pretty cheap. Oh, nice, women outlaws. That now, this one's an color. interesting one. This is, um, I think this is the first Wally Wood. <laughs> Yeah, that's a sexy cover. Yeah. Yeah. So those are the extra ones I found. Wow. So Women Outlaws number four from Fox Feature Syndicate, 1950, uh, 49, 1949. Very awesome. Sweet. Yeah, those are the extra ones I could find. So I found All a few. Right. More. Still could have gone BB Raiders, though. <laughs> Rocktoo says, what is the best way to open slabs? I think we're I used the screwdriver, actually. I <laughs> used the chisel oh, really? and a hammer. Oh, man. Chisel and a hammer. <laughs> I, I used my wife's slabs. chisel. I, I like the slab. I, I'm, I'm I a hate them. slab guy. I know you hate slabs, but I like the slabs. Blow torch. Blow torch. <laughs> <laughs> I used my wife's chisel and hammer, man. It opened, and it came right open. Hammer, he says. <laughs> Yeah, don't do it the way I do it. I just accidentally let them fall. And <laughs> well, that's one way of doing it. Alan, you use your judo chop. <laughs> yeah, my judo chop. Wow. So, yeah, you can take it off me. <laughs> just feel like getting a little shy here. Uh, I'm going to bring Mike. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. 
Mike mm-hmm. sent me this. Night Tiger oh, sent wow. me a, I don't think I showed yeah. the one. That's an IW me, uh, one. Yeah. IW actually, I, I'm I'm beginning to collect them because they they would do different covers. That yeah, some cool. of the covers are different and they look pretty cool actually. Yeah, like that's no, a pretty cool, cool cover. When you say pretty cool, that means it's really not that cool. <laughs> okay, think, think well, then, go, okay, oh, then it's really cool. How about yeah, really? You go, oh, it's pretty cool. But then if you go, it's cool. Then you're like, <laughs> this is Dale oh, Evans really has cool. some Alex Toth or Toth. Art insides from 1949. I think it's Toth, isn't it? I always said Toth, but a lot of people say Toth. So, oh, yeah, you guys me on that. I don't, I don't know. So you say both, or do you say both, or you know, Spose, I don't know. Both or boss. Yeah. Here's number uh, 26 from uh, August of 1951. Western Comics, DC. You have a lot of the ones where the girls are going off, rappelling down a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> or he's pulling like her up, theme? I guess. Maybe, maybe he's pulling her up. Surely he's not going to lower yeah, her down I think he's there. pulling her up. I think he's pulling her up. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Arrow took his hat off there. That was pretty cool. Yeah, this is really cool. It looks like the other arrow is going for his chest. Yeah, I don't know, man. He's got to swerve that one, or he ain't gonna. Oh, nice. It. Yeah, I I need to get some of those. <laughs> DC Comics. What is that? Fifties. Uh, yeah, it was from uh, 51. Okay, cool, cool. Now, do you pretty have a good memory, each of you, or kind of where you picked up the book when you look at it? When yeah. you remember when you got it? Uh, I have an idea most of the time of where I got it from. I always like when they label you stuff. You write it on there, but I don't, yes. Yeah, like that's like the Wells it. Fargo or the Pony Express. So that mm-hmm. that's always cool. It makes it like a time piece cover mm-hmm. that lady packs a six gun a nice glove love the star <laughs> right there love yeah, all buddy. the details when they put those details on there i really <laughs> adds a bit yeah yeah it adds to that cover and this one is pretty rough but it's not as bad as what it looks like uh wild bill hickok yeah I, I i always like look at that, that going that's is- this supposedly dust right there because i that's... looked and i thought man that's a bad stain but it's on yeah, it looks like cover. a stain. Yeah, it's on. That's a cover. very uh, suggestive uh, position there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's kind of grinding into him a bit. Yeah, he's like, "Give it here, babe." <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "Ah, no, it hurts." <laughs> We're adults here. Some of us fight. Some of us. <laughs> I mean, to be adults we're in adults there. in bodies, and we're boys in the mind. All right, Mike. I'm showing this one because oh. there is a female right there. Oh, is there? Well, uh, then, then you well, oh, yeah, actually, she's sexy, too. Yeah. Is there? Are you kidding me? Yeah, right in the middle of the bad guys there. She's kind of like a bit of like a cat woman kind of style. Yeah. Golly, yeah. even the Ghost Rider is scared when he meets the Freaks of Fear. Freaks of Fear. She's a freak. We're going we're gonna to allow of it. Fear, number 15. Wow, that's 1952. interesting. 1952. I think Mike has like two or three or four of those. Hey, don't Something let anybody like know my secrets. <laughs> I'm going to show you that one. Oh, you got to sneak in a modern. Yeah. Oh, you do the thing. Lady like Rawhide. Was... There you I'm go. I like, I, I like I right like Lady Rawhide. Yeah. So. That's a really good cover, actually. I'll end with that one. Gratu, I need to get your address, man. So if you're still in the chat, find a way to get me your address. Uh, Micah has my phone number. So if you want to get a hold of Mike and get get me your address that way, I've got something to send your way. Oh, you're done? Okay. Um, yes, dang, sir. I can't, I can't find my Ghost Riders. I hate that. Oh, here they are. Okay. I guess I'm up. Let me go. Let me go. Okay. Um, I didn't see that feel my other, so good eye on that. Um, where we, oh, okay, down there. Yep. Oh, yeah, you got it too. <laughs> One, two. How many of these do you have? Oh, my goodness. Three. Hey, it's a great issue to own. It is a great Ghost Rider cover, so yeah. Wow. Are you like trying to corner the market? Or is that is that exactly cool? now? I can set the price. <laughs> the Texan, that's Matt Baker. Oh yeah. Or, oh no, nope. isn't it? It's not Matt Baker. Sorry. 
He did Who a lot it? of the Texans. He Tell did. me who it is. Um, it was probably Doolin. Nope. Come on. Who is that? You know, you know who it. it is. Look at those legs. They go on forever. This That's is Lover. Doolin. A oh, lover. Lovers. That's the one I was going through. Double uh, lo- for some reason I always get Lubers or Lovers or whatever is pronounced. This it. is number one. August 1948. I find them very similar. Now, I just picked up this one here. Um, Where is it? I just put it on the wall. I can't find it. It's all Matt Baker art, but there's no good girl cover to it. I put it on the wall. Oh, is it the Texan? Yeah, I can't find it. Is it the one with the the Indian on it? Yeah, I got it for $30. It's a pretty high grade copy, too. I know. The Texans are under, like, just under the radar. People don't realize. I picked it up when I stopped at a shop in Liberty, Missouri. Okay, some more DS publishing. She got a good girl out there. Big Sky Sheriff. What a cool name. Breeze Lawson. I mean, that just that just picks you don't even have to look at they don't even have to look you're behind a wall and go, I'm Breeze Lawson. And they're like, I'll go out with you. You've got a cool <laughs> name. That, he's machine gun. He's got a Tommy. Is that a Tommy gun? What kind of gun is no, that? It's- just looks like a machine gun. That's not a regular machine gun. I'm not sure what kind it is, know. but someone there can tell us. Collecto six, what kind of gun is that? Yeah, he he's a gun expert. Looking at uh comments. Lubers. Collecto six says Lubers. What kind of gun is that? I want to say it's a Tommy gun. <laughs> Don't you have like to pull you have gun. to pull back the, the hammer or whatever that thing is on it? And then you I have a G- Billy G- the G- Kid G- comic, uh, Western comic, and there's a guy busting into a room with a skull mask on. He's got a Tommy gun like that. Like, what? Oh, wow. Alan. Oh, that's um, the other one I'm yeah. looking for. That's I cleaned this cover. I, I, tried to get wow, this, really I tried to get this off. I couldn't completely, and I started getting ink loss, so I started to stop cleaning it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, talk that's about one bondage one cover. For. That's, I, that's know. I think that's the best in the run. It's a scarce one, all right. That one and the one you showed was, yeah, both of those yeah. are the two best covers. Right, too. There's your bondage. You got cheesecake. You got everything, man. No, that's, look at that. I really like look that. at the belt buckle. She's got the redneck belt buckle. <laughs> she got that at the rodeo, man. Cow puncher, baby. Look at all that white <laughs> space up there. You did a good job cleaning that, man. I think I got I that for get some books. like 50 bucks or something. Okay, nice. romance. We'll go some romance real quick. Photo cover, Western Hearts. Real romances of the West. True Life Ranch romances. That's always interesting to read. So do, you, do you like the Western, uh, like the photo covers, I mean? I like. I actually like reading this stuff. It's really fun, especially if you get like Dear Abby letters and stuff in here. Oh, yeah, those are cool. But these, there's a lot of stuff is is done well. The stories are good. They're fun. Um, did you show this one? Did anyone show that one? No. Uh, no, I don't have that one. She um, kind of looks, look a, but she's an Indian, but she has a bar girl look to her too. Kit Carson, Carson's Revenge, The Doom Trail, Scalping Knives Along the Frontier, wow. Number Two, August Fifty One, Everett Raymond Kinsler. Wow. Uh, Cowboy Love, Charlton, 1955. Got the singing cowboy on there. Mm. This really ruins it, though. Don't look at that code. The stamp. <laughs> we got a ghost rider with oh, a tape a great pole. One. Great one. Can't see the, the tape ghost pole, rider. Looks good. Yeah, because he's all white, so you can't really see it that much. Oh, yeah, dude. Now that you point to it, I see it. But yeah, no, it's great. I didn't do it. Believe oh, it or okay. not, I didn't do that. Another modern, photo cover. Modern. I believe Western this has I believe this has Kirby art in it. Nice. But she has a relationship with the horse. That's a, it's <laughs> too much information. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what Spinner X has to. Oh, it's a Thompson gun. That is a Tommy Thompson. gun. Thompson. That is a to- okay. that's a Tommy. It is a Tommy gun. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Thompson I thought. Tommy, yeah. 
Okay, I'm Canadian. <laughs> no, we... we don't know anything about guns here. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got some love trail photo cover Marvel. Wow, you have a pretty what good uh, collection of stuff. This is a this is a lovers magazine. Just so you know, not lovers, lovers, not lubers <laughs> either. Look, the cowboys who jilted me. Oh my goodness, I don't even want to know what that's about. <laughs> they don't have one that says the slut of the range. <laughs> <laughs> I was after this book for the longest time. I tried waiting to get it under fifty bucks. Range I think romances. This is a great cover. Range that is romances. Nice. I think there's two. Uh, I think it's three issues. Two of them are original art, and then one's a photo cover. This is number one from December forty nine. Paul Gusterson cover. So I, I got it for under fifty shipped. I got a forty five dollars and forty two cents. Nice. So right at my price point. I'm telling you, I would check and wait and wait until I finally got one under 50. And then I had like several sellers that would never budge. They wouldn't go below 50. Cowboy Romances. He rustled my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Streets of Laredo. This is So this is a photo cover from a movie. William Holden and Mona Freeman. Screenplay at Par Paramount. Does she have a cow heart? Or? Streets of <laughs> He rustled my heart. You got rustled, didn't it? Yes. Mm. He rustled with the muscle. <laughs> then you showed this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tim Tyler. Yeah. Mm. That was a pretty... I paid up for this one because it is a high-grade copy. So it was $47 shipped. But look at those staples, man. The staples look sexy. <laughs> <laughs> And then I picked this up in Ohio when I went out to Steve's house. This one's a pretty tough one to get to. Now, did somebody color it at the top? Yeah, the I'm going to go ahead and, and experiment on removing the crayon. I just haven't got around to it yet. Oh, it adds character to it, man. Leave it leave it there. But I want to see if I can do it. Well, That's a nice one, though. I like Supposedly, if you if you get wax paper and you iron it, and then looks you like they it. stayed inside the lines, though. Yeah, I mean it's not that bad. That's why I got it. I, pay, I paid twenty six for it. Wow. Yeah, dude. But that I was researching sense. how you do it, and you take um, wax, pa wax paper, paper, parchment paper, and you iron it, heat up the crayon, and then you scrape it off. So wow. it's gonna take. It's gonna be a tedious job, but you know what? This is a pretty tough book. And then Jamie, you showed this one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Indians packing six guns, man. I know. Isn't that cool? He lost. The other fight, guy had, you know. The other guy had the tomahawk. Now, why do they have to put an arrow here? Now, the just arrow fill, kind of detracts from it, actually. Just to fill space or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they I should have put like the story title or something up there. Got your attention, I guess. I don't know. The savage who rustled my heart. Let's see. What do we got here? Ah! Okay, this book is also another book I waited to find under 50 because it's scarce, but then this ended up being a nice copy that somebody listed. So I got it for 30 shipped. Oh, that's interesting. It's actually published by Kirby Publishers, which is not Jack Kirby. It almost Kirby. looks like a photo cover, but not. Yeah, that guy kind of looks like Randolph Scott. Believe it or not, this book goes for big money, so... And this is a high grade copy, so I'm very so happy. So what, what? Why does it go for big money? I mean, it's, it's a cool really, cover. It's really scarce, and it's a publisher. I don't think if they, I don't know if they published anything else besides this one series. Hmm. I think there's only two issues to the series, if I'm correct. So they didn't. They didn't last very long. Golden West Love. You know how us collectors are. We're we're crazy. We you like we just the scarce go stuff. So yeah, that's. So we got some youthful. Oh yes, Graham oh, Ingalls. Oh Gun yeah, smoke. I always like the fact awesome, that the, uh, the title's on fire. I think that's cool. Yeah. Look at those and the big eggs. pistol up there, always yeah. underneath the title too. Nice, so. yeah. nice and uh, grave Colt. Look at that masked Marvel up there. Great horror title. Wow. Oh, here's here's that Texans right over here. I'll show you the favorite. This now, this one's not a good girl, but it's the most favorite Western comic book in my collection. 
and I got it for seven dollars and fifty cents. And I've never seen another one for sale. Oh yeah, it's really cool. I've seen that one, actually. You need to snatch it up, Beast of Horror. Oh wow! But here's that one I just I bought for thirty. It's really nice copy. Oh yeah. It's got that A up there. Yeah, I, I see that A all of the time. And it's that same style, but usually smaller. But Okay, Jamie, do you have something? Uh, yeah, I was going to show you. That guy, oh, cool. He, yeah. He's got the assault rifle there. <laughs> wow, That's cool. He's got, he's got like a skull mask. Don't miss yeah. death. What does it say? Don't miss death's tra travels northward that's Let's travel i love like those little horror elements on these books that aren't horror yeah. books king of the old west yeah i think i'll actually get to get a copy of that that looks very cool and well i'm almost well i'm out of good girl covers so i thought i'd show you another all right well, we, okay guys we'll allow it <laughs> Frank Rosetta, man we gotta allow that right Gratu sent his address and phone number on Instagram. Okay. In, yeah, I Insta, see there. I got it. Insta Strangle Grand. Thank you, sir. That's, that's one of my favorite Western covers. Yeah. It's, looks like uh, that wrestler. What was his name? Uh, George the Animal Steel. I don't know who that about is. About to rip Lemonade Kid's head off it, there. It is some great art, though. I mean, yeah. Ex accentuating like the. All right. One songs. more. This oh, is yeah, a non girl, yeah, too, yeah. but I just thought I'd show you another masked yeah. ranger. Another, those are tough. Ranger. I'm always Super looking, mom. I'm always trying to get those, but people want too much money for them. Yeah, so okay. I have We're cool, I have a, I can just show all these really quick, okay, and we'll do it. If we can go to 9 30, I know we got lives and wives, yes. Mm. Okay, so some more Ranger comics. I don't know if you showed that one, Alan. I don't think so, actually. Phantoms of the Renegade Trail, number 46, 1946. Nice. Pretty decent. I don't know who did the cover. Maurice Whitman? I don't know. Look at the horse. Look at the horse's horror face. That's scared, isn't it? <laughs> you got, look at that. You got the cat. The cat's got that killer and face. That, that's and Maurice Whitman. Some it's a good thing she's got that shield, though, you know? Kind of oh, yeah. yeah. Then you have number 55, October 50, Massacre Guns at Pawnee Pass. Didn't you show this one? Uh, I didn't know. Nope. No, I don't think so. And then we have, I, I used to go for these, but now you, they're, they're just Yeah, they're pricey. getting pricey now. Oh, Wolves of one. the Overland Trail. Kind of a strange pose there. You always got the little kids sticking around like the ones on the secret of Haunted House or whatever. Neil Adams kids. Round up. Hey, big boy. Be back to pick you up later. Meet me upstairs. <laughs> Mystery of Mammoth Mesa, Ranger, Recruit, Saga of Mexican Mike, and the Vanishing Tom McGee. Real pack Western stories. Roundup. This is DS Publishers also. Uh, Tim Tyler. Some more Timmy Tyler. Hmm. Look at her pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's really weird. <laughs> I know. It's a little suggestive there. Okay, here's the Blazing West. Now, Blazing West was, I think it was first Hooded Horseman, and then it became Blazing West, or the other way around. I don't remember. ACG? Oh, pick, yeah. Save pick this one up in Ohio with I Love Disney. Oh, it's right like when there. the woman is a, like... Like strapped to the train tracks. I was. He's got a really that. stupid looking mask, though. Blazing West. Blazing West. What issue number? Um, number eighteen. I gotta remember all these. Take notes, man. Oh, I should. I was gonna tell everybody in the beginning to take notes. 
Place Keep their nose. Rest. I don't know what that means. Oh, the wrestler, George the Animal Steel. And then here we go with this. I don't know what's going on with her lips, but they look really weird. It's not a very good composition. I guess he's jumping off the cliff, but she's terrified. Yeah. Looks like she's got big lips or she was sucking lip on curling her. terror right there. Oh, is that what it says? Oh, that's what I say. Uh, it says Bantam Buckaroo, the Buffalo Bell. Ding a ling. Uh, Avon, Kit Carson. Oh, yeah. Kinsler, Rip Shirt, Cheesecake. Sweet. Sweet too. I'm getting a cavity. Look at this one. Kit Carson fights the Comanche Raiders, number three. Man, what happened? Who ripped her shirt off? <laughs> I don't know, but the... I don't think the old guy's minding it too much. Were they in the middle of coitus when the Indians showed up? <laughs> okay, this is my only one with the bar girls, and they have the fishnets. Hillman, Dead Eye Western. Oh, that's cool. Shout out to BWD Comics. He sent this one to me, number 12, October 1950. I'm surprised BWD's not here. I un he finally I finally figured out how to unblock him. Why were you blocking him? No, I blocked him by accident because somebody got on here and made some really sexual comments. So I tried to block him quickly, and I blocked him by accident. Oh. And I didn't know how to undo it. I had to do some research. Uh, here's one you showed. Saddle justice, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Graham Ingalls. Yep. Look at mine, see how low grade it is. But still, it's an EC man. A cool book, yeah. I can't wait to get that other one this week. So, this one is a uh, 1956. Nice number 27, Jesse James. Pretty nice copy of that. You just never know who's gonna list a comic book, you know, like flea market dealer or. Somebody just trying to get rid of stuff that they found in an attic, you know? Yeah, you see a lot of that. That's a good one there. Yeah, I've been looking yeah, at that. Yeah, I actually one. just saw that today. Schomburg. Yeah. Somebody wanted Brilliant 300 comics. for it. Yeah. Wow. You know how much I like it? Look how we did it. Electric football. <laughs> oh, wow. Cool. Uh, I think you showed this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the that's the original, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, the, I you sent see, you. You can see it's different to cover though. I sent you the IW one, right? The one you sent me, I haven't shown yet. And then we have some more Red Arrow. Very cool. Bondage behind the rock. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. These are pretty scarce. Alex. That's a nice looking book. And then number one doesn't have a good girl, so I don't want it. <laughs> and then Indian Fighter, Youthful Magazine. Oh, the girl's cool. Walter Johnson cover, Flaming Arrows. There's that arrow again. I guess that's <laughs> their their theme. It goes with their title. 1950, Number. this is number one. Okay, this is the one when you showed yours. I went and looked and I found this one for 20 Eight dollars and eighty-eight cents, uh, February two thousand two. Yeah, and this is a Canadian edition. You just don't see those very often, so yeah. No. Nope. This was a pretty nice for for the thirty-eight for thirty dollars. This is a really nice copy. That's Most nice of them are copy, really yeah. they're really low grade on eBay, and then they want a lot of money. So, I picked up number one of that title. Right. Of Uncle Bill? Uh, the Western Adventures. Oh, you did? Is it a good girl? No. <laughs> but it's a cool cover. It's, it's got just, the guy shooting with the white gloves, like? Uh, yellow gloves, and he shoots yeah. the gun out of the other guy's hand. Yeah. This is a good one because it's centered perfectly on those breasts. <laughs> Look at that. She's right. I'm no seriously. She's right in the middle of the cover. 
Look how <laughs> short her dress is. That's okay. <laughs> very, really very, dress. very sexualized. Some good covers in that title, Bronco Bill. Another roundup. All right. Damn, so fire cover, Alan. Yeah, well. And then outlaws. Not the in-laws. These are the outlaws. <laughs> Close <laughs> to the same thing. Now, you rarely see that kind of hat, like, on the cover. What is that, the Mexican yeah, sombrero? Yeah, Mexican style, yeah. And then she has, like, the bolero hat with the little tassels. Well, mm -hmm. usually they have the tassels on them. Then another again, another cover with the Mexican U.S. border, El Del Monte, Frontier front page, Tuscan McHugh, Red Letter Rodeo, and Dynamite for Boss Caveat. Good night, babe. All right, we got. What happened? So silent. <laughs> oh, this this is one I just bought again. This is the one. Is this the one that I just picked up, Jamie? Do you remember? I think it is. Uh, Not sure. No, like no, no, no. The other one, one. The other one's the EC. Yeah. Gunsmoke, Graham Ingalls, Indian Massacre, Border Patrol, Deadly Double. Didn't you show this one, or somebody show it? I I showed a Gunsmoke. I don't think it was this one. Oh, I didn't okay. show that one though. No. Oh, okay. I Always looking the for these. At the top and the... Yeah, the mass marvel up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Alan, in this title, in almost every issue except maybe the first one, I, well, I haven't mm -hmm. seen the first, there's a different female Western story. It's always based okay. on a female character and a sexy one. Oh, wow. And, Gra and I think Graham Ingalls was the editor of this because from the research I did, he does almost the, all the creations of the characters are his. Oh, wow. So I think that from what I can gather, they handed him this, like, here's your baby, run with it, do what you want. So he created the Mass Marvel. Let's take a look because I, I everyone I've looked through had like one female character story after another, and they were really good. Except for the Mass Marvel, of course. So this one, let's see. Well, anyways, and these have that mass Marvel horror element to them, too. Huh. Oh, wow. Detached cover. Maybe not in this one, but I know. Yeah, look. Yeah, here's one story. Um, so it'd be like some sexy girl story. You could see a lot of good girl panels. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, it's really, really a great title. Well, be careful. Yeah, I don't need anybody gossiping about me destroying another book on the live show. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Oh yeah, you have this one. Yeah, I got that one, but I Number think yours probably is a little bit better than mine. Always they are cool, these. man. Really. Ever cool. since you showed them, I I look for them every every. Like, I do different searches, so I'll pay some, like, every four months I'll look for this and see what's up there. Or I'll do the gun smoke or the roundup. And then... Uh, Pony Express. Cody of the Pony Yeah, I was going to say it's a Fox book also. They did a... Picked up a second copy. A couple of those. That almost looks like a photo also, but it's, I guess it's. She's looking at you. <laughs> She's peeking. Okay, we got some more EC. Gunfighter. Uh, Johnny Craig cover. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. And then this is the reprint by MS Distributors. They did those 11 books for a dollar. So they reprinted the Fox. The first the first page isn't there, and it has an in-house ad, so you can tell that it's the reprint. So the first page was on the inside cover. Yeah, so with these, there's no first page. Huh. Oh, you can yeah. tell 
you could tell when they're reprints. Um, yeah, I never well, could. I never can. I never could find a full list, but these are really yeah. Those nice stuff. super giants they did. They were like that also. They didn't have the first page. That's a high grade copy. That is a nice copy, man. And it has the in in house yeah. page right there. Fifteen comics for one dollar. Oh wow! Huh. And then that's a good deal. Starts out with page two. Huh. Chewing, chewing gum. It's really hard to buy these because I got these high grade copies for under thirty, and people right. are asking uh, over a hundred dollars for low grade copies. Oh wow! That's crazy. And you could get them all for a buck back in the day. And then here's the other one. That's yeah. really nice. Both of those are nice, man. And that's the pink pager, isn't it? Mm, that no. almost looks like the bleed through at the. Is it a pink pager? No. Yeah, I think they. I always thought that was interesting with Fox. Yeah, Victor Fox. He was super cheap, and he used <laughs> He's the, king the of cheapest comments. paper and stuff. Yeah. I have a Carissa Archer that has pink pages. Or no way. Yeah, so do I. Oh, you did. I, I was gonna like I have um I got the whole run. So oh, Avon, yeah. didn't you show this? Yes, sir. That's a good and one. And then and then this is the IW. Oh, okay. Oh, very similar. Yeah, they just changed the background color. And then uh, West Wild Bill Pecos, the Westerner. Wild Bill. What's he guy. doing there? I like, anyway? the, I like the girl's face on that one. Like, yeah, what's he doing? I don't know. I found uh, Bill's wild, man. You, you gotta watch him. I can't tell you what he's doing, but I found this one for twenty. On eBay. That's really nice cover. Very cool. Little subscription crease there. <laughs> yeah, I love that look on her face. The, I just like her face. It's really, what? It's really <laughs> she's like, honey, couldn't you wait a little longer? <laughs> he's like, it's now or never, baby. Cowboy I'm gonna look. Have to go soon. Oh yeah, we gotta, I, I got I like six. Well, if you gotta go, you gotta go, buddy. But we, I got like six or seven more. Some roundup, nice. The Doubling up three. again, man. You oh yeah, keep double dipping. I'll tell you if you find them for a good price, what I pay for these. This one was fifty-one, and this one was sixty-three. But they're really nice copies. Yeah, that's cool that you write the prices down too. That's that's smart. Uh, I got the date I bought them, where I bought them, what, <laughs> and then uh, what about that one? I like it. Yeah, Collective Hollywood's Six just was showing that one. He just picked that one up too. Oh, nice. Oh, I got to mention my winner too here. So let me get this prize book. So I'm gonna head hey. out. But okay, um, brother. Thank you for joining. Thanks, we appreciate guys. it. Thanks Good for having me. You, uh let's keep in mind. Nice let's do books. this. Let's let's do a golden age sci-fi sci sure. live stream. So okay. awesome. I'll, I'll maybe maybe in May, maybe beginning of June. Sounds good. Okay, All talk right. to you guys later. All right. Take care, Take brother. Care. Okay, so uh I did pick a winner for this. Um, I don't know if they're still in here. So this is from 1955, number 12. It's a it's about a $50 fair market value. Um, Psychedelic Comics, congratulations to you. If you're still there, contact me on Instagram. Give me your address. I'll ship that out next Saturday. And if he's not here and anybody knows him, go ahead and contact him and let him know he won. And I'll also try to get in touch with him. Okay, I got a few more. Uh, matter of fact, I only have one more, and this is the one that you sent me. Oh, okay. Good cover. I like yeah. that. Ken's I appreciate it. It's always a good gift to get from your friends. Well, man, it was a great show. I think we we really wowed them. Yeah, I, I thought I had plenty of Westerns, but I've seen a lot of stuff I'm going to have to go after now. <laughs> it's going to be tough. That's what buying, happens, man. With you buying doubles of everything, it's going to be kind of tough. Well, I'm not buying right now. I just bought a new <laughs> truck with a lot of money. Did you get your truck? Oh. Yeah, you didn't see it. I got my 2011 250 F3. Uh, Good for you, brother. Jacked up. 
uh, 62 V8. What's up, Tyler? We miss yeah, Tyler. He's not a, he's not on social media no more. Dude, get back on Instagram. Get back on YouTube. Well, appreciate everybody. Uh, we had quite a, I think we had 18 at our highest. And it was just great to be able to share and inspire all the cool kids in the sandbox. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you get out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and and, and run a uh, run my outro if I can find it. The wife's here. She's ready for me to come to bed. No, here. That's for the. Oh, she she's giving me some 3D glasses. That's in case you're gonna see the eclipse tomorrow. That's oh. 3D glasses. <laughs> Gotta have the glasses for the eclipse. There they are. All right, brother. You know why I'm going to run this this uh, intro again as the outro because I, I just like it so much. I thought I did a great job and, and I got it done in the nick of time. Yeah, you did a really good job. Sorry about getting that to you late, but yeah, oh, you did no a good problem, job with it. No problem. All right. So you have a good night, Jamie, and think about that sci-fi and, and get a stack of books together. Yep. Once again, thanks for everybody who showed up here. Congratulations, Psychedelic Comics. Thank you, guys. I need to take this comment down. And um, Night Tiger's going to get out of here. Well, I'm going to run this intro again, and then uh, I'm just going to get out of here. Everybody have a good night. Have a good week, and, and stay safe if I can find it. And